Yo, what's going on, everybody? We're here today. We're here. I'm back. I'm back. I told you guys I'd be here. Sorry, a little late today. But a lot of things I was doing. Can't really talk about. From some other stuff that has nothing to do with that of war. <laughs> so, other than that, I was just hanging out in Discord. Kick it back. Thank you guys all for the conversations and coffee talk today. Keeping me uh, occupied while I was doing other stuff. A little late here, obviously, today. So, we'll still the mine in today. Or, like the title says, building the factory. I think I'm going to be just decoing today a little bit on here and then maybe do a little bit of mining down the bottom. If not, I'll be saving most of the mining for tomorrow and kind of jumping on. So make sure you guys come to the chat. Make sure you guys say what's going on. Let's talk about the game. Hang out, relax for at least four or five hours, right? We got Grumpy. We got Peter. We got Connor. We have Bag and oh, what's up, guys? Are you guys are having a good day. Uh, okay, so today... I'm thinking about, I'm, a, I'm definitely going to skin the, put the floor in here. And I would like to put the walls on today as well. And then all the remaining other things that I have, I would like to possibly start doing some of the parking lot for out here and recovering this. But I'm going to drop the layer down a little bit so it looks like I kind of have a curb. This is the wrong height. What's up, skins? How you doing, man? Drop it down a little bit and uh, get going, so... Yeah, I just want to start doing a little bit of the building and, you know, kind of start chunking this away. These guys were absolutely crazy yesterday and, well, pretty much bribed out no, pretty much bought out the no more taxes situation, right? So that is great. That allowed me to progress a lot faster with the money that I'm earning, uh, buying some of these materials that I need instead of just doing the death grind like I was. Because as you guys have all noticed... And you probably all read the thing. Multiplayer is coming sooner than we all expected for a AKA beta access. So yeah, let's drop that. And Blue, what's up, brother? And thank you much, man. Subscribe to tier one, dude. It's good to be back. He says, I missed you, buddy. I missed you guys too. I had a, uh, I had a little bit of computer issue, so I didn't stream yesterday to Twitch, but I definitely am back here. And it seems like everything is going, is everything good? Twitch side and YouTube side, everything looks good, sounds good. I had to completely redo some of my stuff, so my computer wanted to have a meltdown apparently this last week. So you guys all witnessed that on, you know, Saturday. So I took a little bit of the week off. Don't worry. Like I said, some of you guys may not understand. I, I said it yesterday. I took a little bit of time off. I've had some stuff come up at work. Work actually gave us a whole week off to deal with stuff that they have to deal with on their end. So that is why I was kind of just, I was having a lot of real life stress. You guys know what it is. You know what I mean? Like, so we had to, uh, yeah, some stuff going down. Nothing to do with me. I'm completely okay. Matter of fact, I might get a promotion out of it. So, but it's all this other drama stuff, right? So, kind of just sitting here at the moment thinking, you know, it's good to have a week off paid, right? Paid week off? I'm not going to complain. I get to sit back and relax and hang out with you homeboys. Kick it. Hang in Discord. Looking good? All right, Grumpy. Good here on Twitch? Okay. Thank you guys very much. If it looks like shit, please tell me it looks like shit. I mean, I know I'm shitty, but, you know, if the stream looks like poop, please tell me. Don't be... You, quiet, you. <laughs> don't be... Don't be... Looks like shit. <laughs> Shit's weak. All right, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to start off at the ground level here. I'm going to be doing some deco and some building. All right, so what what's going on here? WTF is a paid week off. That means your employer's messed up really bad. And um, they need to get you out of there so <laughs> they can fix mistakes or changes. I don't know why I just tore these down when I actually need these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be blasting these out. Right, I'm going to place explosives on them. And I'm going to blast them out so I get the right depth. And hopefully everything looks good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a... Pretty much a loading dock area on this area on this side, but it's also going to allow me to pretty much put a yeah, pretty much the loading dock decorations, deco stuff, right? And I'm going to do the solid steel foundation for the parking lot so I can stripe it and add a couple of deco around the thing for the loading lip and things like that and try to get the right height, right? So it looks good around the building and the loading because these are the two loading bays right here, right? For the main facility. I got a big bay there, and I got a couple bays here. But I can't finish these buildings this season, or else it'll give away what I'm doing. So, yes. 
what I'm going to do is I definitely need spray mine. You know what? Is that line lined up with this? I, you know, I don't, I'm not going to trust it. No, no, don't trust it. Don't trust it. You know why? Because I hand put this building in. And I don't trust myself on the alignment being great. Okay, see, yeah, see right here. See this line? It's off. But that's okay. I'm okay with that line. I'll hide it and blend it with the building. So if I snap from the bottom and I try to place all the way across this, it'll be off. So I'm assuming that this one's higher on this side or I snapped off of this here. Let's actually see what's going on here. It looks like I snapped that extension. So if I go with this side, that side's actually higher on this lip. Uh, and yeah, so that, that'll go there. Uh, hi there. I'll only be here for a moment today because my father forced me to, to go to a model building show convention tomorrow. Well, that sounds fun, man. Definitely get some sleep and uh, go check that out, dude. My work has my hours all messed up one week, the night, the next. Oh, that's horrible, Blue. That's horrible, man. Have you ever noticed that the walls uh, overlap lap each other? Yes. I've been building a factory, uh, and I realized that like 100 steel walls have been uh, clipping half through the others. Yeah, it, there is some clipping issue and things like that with the walls and the building pieces that need to be addressed with alignments and things like that, right? Like, they definitely don't snap properly to certain things. Uh, but that they need to definitely go over and rework a lot of that stuff. Okay, so this is off a little bit on that lip over there. But that's okay. It's not going to be noticeable that bad from this side to this side when this is the height of the quote-unquote curb. All right, so I need to make sure we get a couple blasts in here today. Let's get some... Uh, I, don't, I think I sold all the extra shit, so let's take a look here. Um, equipment... Explosives, Let's grab some Draymite here. Check out. Grab a couple hundred to kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm doing. And then I'm going to go go to town on it. Okay, we got 300 and something here. Okay. okay that snaps there. By snapping to grid new. I mean, I could snap to grid, but... Just to save some time. Just don't trust the explosives anymore. You know, I just don't trust them anymore when they don't lay on the top. <laughs> you know? Stare to my feet and my hammer. Okay. What's our height? Kind of ass. Okay. Getting closer. Okay, I'm gonna now I'm gonna be I should be able to grid blast now. Because this is all gonna be covered, right? So I'm just gonna grid it, then it's okay. I put too much, I put these blocks too far in the ground. Was the issue that I was having. Yeah, hopefully he's having a good day. Sorry for the uh, the late being late, dudes. Like I said, if you ever have Discord, hop on in and hang out. Okay, grid's right there. Zoom, pull back, pull back. Yes, I'm just gonna have to. Let's see what this one just one does right here on this grid level. Doesn't do shit. Okay. You know what? Here. I 
it doesn't matter. You're not going to see it. Let's not be anal about it, right? I don't have time to be like super, 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 super precise. Like, I, can't, I don't have time. I'm in, in a time crunch, right? I know it seems weird where it was like, oh, I got all this time. No. Multiplayer. <laughs> right? No. What's it up here? You gonna snap? You gonna be an ass. Okay, that'll... That'll be good right there. It's a little high for the dock and the trucks, but... I could bring it up a little bit more. Like... So let's, let me let me take a look here. I can I can do a little bit different. I mean that's perfect for the stairs. I mean I guess everything will align for the stairs. So let's just go for the correct measurement right off the bat and make the job easier. Let's not let's not drag it on. Right? Let's, let's not drag it on. If I drag it on, then it's gonna piss me off. Right? Like that's that's the thing. Is is it worth being super super precise or does it matter from a hundred? That's kind of what we've been talking about. Uh, in the Discord over the last couple days, last week. Does it matter from 100 or does it need to be s perfectly straight? You know, or like, you know, all this stuff. And I think I get a little too... I hold myself up by trying to be too precise sometimes. Or overthinking it, right? So... Let's go ahead and put these in. And then I'll kind of get to what I'm talking about here. We're going to spend a little bit of money today on this building. Because I'm tired of it not being skinned. I'll tell you that much. I'm sick of it. It needs to be skinned. Some of this parking lot needs to be put in. Some of the roads need to be put in. It's been too long with no building going on. The reason for the safety meeting tomorrow? Uh oh. Okay, let's round the corner. Right, that'll work like that. Okay, so if that is the loading dock height, the wall, let's give us a visual here of. Like the, the wall side. I don't like the overhang, but it is what it is. I'm hoping I have the correct snap here because these walls are not correct these beams are not correct on the inside so i'll snap off the uh the walls so my alignment doesn't go weird what did you do this time right what did you do exactly if you have a safety meeting what did you do because if i snap off that beam it's gonna be dumb i can always take out what i don't need later and put windows and things like that in. Super important. Like I said, visually, I just need to see these things coming along. And I don't, I know you, oh, yeah. See, that's why we're not trusting the, uh, that's why we're not trusting the blocks today. We're not trusting the original, uh, building. But from the outside, it'll look fine. But from the inside, controlled chaos. So... I don't think we posted notifications in Discord, by the way. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not sure if YouTube's sending its notifications out or not, but we'll cross our fingers. All right. What's up, Tatico, man? 
Hur gör du det, buddy? Finally putting some walls up, dude. This building has been bare for quite a long time. I'm putting the floors in today. I'm getting the uh, the entro around, entrance around here a little deco and getting closer to the well final not final because I'm not going to do the second story because I have to wait for the next season to finish these buildings because if I build the rest of this building the way I need it for season five it's going to give away what I'm doing and I don't want to give away what I'm doing yet so and that man hope we're having a good day dude. Hey, we're coming along. I'm not. I'm not putting uh, windows or anything in yet. Hey, what's up, CJ? From Denmark, huh? Yeah, we got a few of you uh, guys around this channel. People from all over the world. Action building to steal though. <laughs> yep, I just can't finish this one. Yeah, I was I was thinking about doing a wood building, but then I had to stop myself. Because I realized how big this building would be and it wouldn't be make sense being built in anything else. I was gonna do concrete, but I felt I kinda like the I kinda like the look of the structure on the inside first, the skeleton. And then uh, that was kind of uh, something I was looking forward to having a little different. Long time ago, choices were made. Am I going to run out of these and I don't know if I have enough to actually complete the job? No, I have 700 and something. Okay. No, we're good. I still have windows, but let's get this front wall down here. Um, Deco purposes. Let's see here. Okay, so that's the height. The lip. It's all right, you're allowed to make bad choices. Well, shit. <laughs> okay, so... If I do put a door in... These doors are massive, right? I guess I... Let me around the corner. Let me around the corner here. Let's go ahead and grab some more explosives. I said, this is all going to be buried anyways, so... Well, time crunch. Procrastinated on these projects for too long. Okay, let's go out a little bit. Ooh. Gross. Nasty. Fighting uh, nerve squeeze back pain. Other than that, found an area needs more water. <laughs> I, found, I found a need for water blocks. You don't know what's worse? The blocks of the back pain? Uh, Yeah, I mean, I get you. They could both be a pain in the ass. We gotta find a look. We gotta find the look, you know what I mean? Once we find the look. Yeah, right. Come on, why did I? So, loading bay doors or windows? I was thinking windows because that's going to have big bays in it. This is going to have big bays. So I'm thinking windows in this side. And I need to do the curb. Or...
So this is technically the asphalt. How many spaces out do I have? Don't need those. Let's move these over. So if I go... It would make more sense. Let's take a look here. Here. This will be out of cement, but I'm just going to take a look here. Let's get an idea. Ooh. Yeah, that other one's on the wall, too. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Gosh, damn it. Stupid thing. There we go. This all should be dropped down here. Let's see how I want that. Let's finish the bottom here real quick. Just kind of get an idea. Hmm. I like that look. How big of a gap do we have in between here? Oh, oh. And then the normal door is look steel doors. Where's doors? This door just seems really small. I don't know why. Is it still like that way to anybody else? Seems like it's wickedly small. That's going to happen. Okay, so if we have the door, maybe I should just do an upriser on this whole thing and then put, a, then put the... Uh... Okay. The deck all the parking spots in. Down here would be cement. Back here would be... Let's see how I want to do that. No, this needs to be raised up. Locks in. Need to go block out. Ooh, what the hell? Went off so bad right there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking that looks okay. Yeah, that's what I'm trying. That's what I'm thinking, right? So this is the bottom. This is the bottom, but I needed an upriser here. And this is this is this this right here is the actual asphalt, right? This will be this will be painted to be asphalt, right? Oh. It's just a little tall, so I was thinking about dropping it down a little bit. You know what I mean? Like half free blocking it in. But then I don't know if that would look weird or not, so. I say perdition for half blocks. Yeah, I agree. I do. I do. We we talked about that yesterday. I do agree with that. Mm, let's see. Back of the building. As if I take this block here. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go keep it simple. Let's lower the first. I need to first. I need to lower this. This is just absolutely gonna be insane. I don't get this out of the way here. First, let's, let's work with level here. Yeah, here free build. No snap. That's what I want. Blow it up.
Yeah, I mean, I might as well, right? I mean, I have to do the whole thing anyways. Head out, Andrew. Will there be a time lapse of this stream? Um, probably not. I'm doing one thing at a time, getting back into testing out what might be the issue. So I'm kind of process of elimination. If there is some issues in certain areas, I need to find them. And so I won't probably bring the time lapse back until next stream. So, but this won't, this stream won't be too, too long. Uh, cause I have already three hours kind of late, late today. So yeah, bear with me for, uh, a, a couple more days. I'll get back into the rhythm of uh, everything and making sure the computer and everything's working okay. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, it's going to be a... Uh... What are my thoughts on the new dirt, man? Um, I'm hoping it goes off like he says it, you know what I mean? Because it could go either way and I'm just being trying to be, you know, no, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm not trying to I'm just trying to be a little bit, you know, on the real side. We don't really know right until we get our hands on it and we get playing with it. You know what I mean? Because everybody's opinion on the dirt and it's such a controversial topic is different, right? So everybody's got a different feel on the dirt. So, I mean, I I'm all for whatever, as long as it's better than what we have now. And it's not going backwards. Like I, I like the bulk dirt because of its simplicity and it just works and gets the job done. But I also like the ball mode in the dozer, right? So, but that's just me not everybody's the same. So it's hard to say. It's really hard to say whether or not it's going to be an amazing thing or a side grade or, you know what I mean? It's really hard to say. I'm hoping for the best. I hope, I hope it's going to be that way, but I just, you know, I'm not getting my hopes up too much. I'll wait until I wait and see. You know what I mean? We'll see. Because the dirt's one been one of those things that's been back and forth, back and forth a million times already now. Right? So... I, I hope I hope it's absolutely freaking epic because it is replacing it is replacing everything that we know apparently at, at right now so I think I think that we they are I think I think that he's only doing one dirt setting I think it's just this new dirt and that's it I don't think there's voxel and bulk I think this replaces everything which is good that's what needs to happen we do need a ultimate solution and this is the way it is and let's just deal with it you know what I mean so there's there's that side of the uh the coin of the argument as well too but I'm just hoping man I hope it's good dude I really do hope it's good Enjoyed seeing that poll yesterday. Mm. I definitely gonna have to buy more steel. Oops. Yeah, I got to buy more boomsticks and more steel. I'm going to make a decorative piece out in the middle of this this park. I'm going to make I'm going to make kind of like a little bit of a decorative piece. Make those truck drivers real pissed off. 
What do you mean you're putting an obstacle in the middle of our shit? Yes. Deal with it. Oh, it's nice and cool in my room right now. And this office here is so nice and cool now. You got a window fan. It's 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 like decently. It's like it's like 55, 60 outside. But man, it was like 85 in here already. Because of the computers and my ass being in here. Nice to take those cool days and just chill. Pretty big area to cover. Let's see if I just... If I don't run, it's not as bad. Put these floors in. Or unless you hit a bump and then that happens. Spend some money today. That's what I need to do. I need to definitely need to get this rolling here. Hey, up, Dasher. How you doing, man? How are you doing today? Dasher? Dasher? Dosh? You're like a... What the hell? I think your name just gave me an embolism, dude. Josser? Okay, there you go. Thank you. Appreciate that. I do appreciate it. I really do. I feel like I was having a stroke trying to pronounce your name. It's like everybody else's name, so I can't really make too many excuses. Hopefully you're having a good day today, man. 85 you guys are that's I don't I'm not looking forward to that heat I don't like the heat I like I like little like probably in the 70s as a 70 or below below mid like mid 70 I'm okay with that you got a friend to buy the game hell yeah dude you be rocking out that multiplayer with you? I'm assuming. I think everybody's I think everyone's in the same mindset, right? If I get my friend the game, will they play with me? Or what do I have to buy them other than the game to bribe them to play with me? Hell yeah, right. Dobie's like cold as hell all the time. Generally, she's pretty like, I'm like snuggling up to her. Now she cold. She got cold ass toes. Uh uh. Nope. What up, Randy? You you had to play Satisfactory. That was the price. That's not bad though. That's not a bad uh. That's not a bad payment. I don't know why I don't have my notifications open. What a terrible streamer. I knew I was missing something today. Sorry guys, I'm still in the middle of getting everything back and working. Often dead. Thank you very much for that uh that follow over there. Appreciate that. Hopefully you're having a good day. What's up, Robin? Really hope that everything goes well with the devs with multiplayer update and stuff, so uh eager to play with the friends. Yeah, I think I think everyone's on on pins and needles right now. Everyone's uh everyone is just waiting for to see. I can't wait to show it to you guys, honestly. It's 
Get me some badass showcasing. Let's go. Yeah, a lot of work coming up here. And hi, by the way. Hello. I play uh, FS22 with your brother. Looking forward to multiplayer with this game. That is the talk of the town. Everyone's just holding on. So, I'll be on. I'll, I'll I'll throw this out there. How many of you are expecting the game to have massive problems with the beta update? To be honest, it's okay. I I'm thinking it's going to have, and I think a lot of people are going to get irritated. I'm one of those ones that I I don't care how long it takes. The fact that they're working on it, and I know a lot of you guys are. But are a lot of you guys expecting it to be really polished and playable and you know there's not going to be anything or or do you expect issues? Like Joser says, do you, do you expect issues? I'm expecting issues. I'm expecting issues and I'm not too, I'm not going to be sitting there waiting like, you know what I mean? I'm expecting it. I'm, I'm obviously hoping that there's not, but you know. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be bummed if it's massively needs a massive amount of work. You know what I mean? Because right now it is just beta and it's gonna be beta, right? So I'm kind of expecting it to be a little Yeah no. Same thing with the dirt. I I'm not I'm trying not to get my hopes up. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh I don't wanna get my hopes up, man. It's like Christmas. You just don't know if your parents fucking listened or not, you know? <laughs> right. Did it work? I mean, you're expecting some jankiness. Yeah, I'm expecting some janky. I'm I'm hundred percent expecting some janky. I think that's I think it's a normal thing. There's just so much stuff going on in this, this patch that is so crazy, right? For this next update. I guess I don't know why. I'm not, I'm not sure why it's worrying me. But I'm kind of like, I'm not like super like, eh. But it's, you know what I mean? I'm kind of like on that like line. I think it's a normal worry. Yeah, I, I don't I don't have any non-faith for Christian and those guys to get it working. It's just, we've, you know, maybe it's just past games. That's my reservation. You just realized you got VIP when the shit that that happened? Well, yesterday, these freaking crazy savage dirt nerds over here dropped 200 and like, out 25 gifted subs. So... So more than likely it happened yesterday. You know what? Let's go and drop a save here. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be like, you know, it's hard to say. It really is. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's a quick and it's, I, I guess what, maybe what it is, I'm just hoping that it's hard to, it's hard to say. I mean, I'm just hoping that it's what people are expecting it to be. You know, because everybody has different expectations of what they want out of multiplayer and everything that's going to be there. Um, I think it's going to be basic in its basic form. In a very basic form. It, I, okay, it, maybe I'll go the other route. I hope that we can just play with X amount of people and do the same thing we're doing right now. Is that easy? Is, is, is that a better way to put it? Like, that's what I hope. I hope that what we're doing right now in the game by ourselves, we can do the same thing, but with friends. That is, that's what I'm hoping for. And a little jankiness along the way. You know what I mean? I like, you know, yeah, it kind of seems like I'm hoping for the worst, expecting the bad at worst, but, you know, hoping for the best. But no, I'm just kind of hoping that it's, you know, because we're, we're there's still a lot of unknowns, right? So we'll just have to wait and see, right? Hopefully nothing game breaking appears. No, I don't think anything game breaking. I don't think it's gonna be game breaking. I just, you know what I don't want. I'll let me be honest. This is what I don't want. I don't want no Hydra near multiplayer. You know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean. 
this weird split screen stupidity stuff. No, you know exactly what I mean. No, no, no hate towards Hydranir, but nah. You know what I mean? I don't know. We don't need that. We don't need no split screen multiplayer crap, dude. Nah, nah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Split screen would infuriate me. That's that's what a lot. Didn't that happen? That's exactly what happened to Hydranir, right? Like what a what a letdown. That would be that would make me cry. I think I would cry. I actually honestly think I would cry. I would sit in my dozer and cry. I, you know, it would be depressing as shit. It was depressing for the Hydranir fans when that happened. So I'm just, I'm just, you know what I mean? You just never know. And it's always like, oh no, man. Oh, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just scared, boys. You know what I mean? It's looming right here, dude. We're so close. We're so close. Then again, well, I mean, then again, they're all using the same assets and he's not only the same guy anymore. Max isn't the only one that builds, builds that anymore. There's multiple guys now that work on the game, right? Yeah, there's multiple guys. It's not the same guy. It's not just one dude anymore. The whole game's been rebuilt with more people. He's not, he's not the other one. He's not the only one. At least that was just what I was told, unless unless those people were wrong, but he was the original only guy that was making it before, but not not from what I remember. I thought that he redid everything and he has more more people now. Yeah, I'm not sure. I thought I, I think that's what I heard. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, please. I thought that Max got more people to work with him. The guy from Oh my god, I ran out. No. It's gonna be expensive. Oh, it's gonna be expensive. Work faster. All I want to say is with friends, doesn't matter if it's better or not to you. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If it's the game as we know it right now, but just working, we see our friends running around playing with us. I am completely fine with that. You know what I mean? I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, I'm okay with that. I, I'm, not, I'm not expecting like magical wizardry and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Does it work? And can I see my homies driving around trucks? And can I see them digging in real time? That's in building in real time. That's about the only thing I care about. To be honest, is all that synced up and working. You know? Yeah, I have no clue. I, I thought I thought they got more devs. No, he's done. A, he's done a great job at getting that game. He's done a really good job of getting the game to uh, to where it's at now versus where it was. The only thing I don't I don't like about what he does with Hydradir is he tries to do these weird naming schemes instead of just saying I didn't build that. Somebody else builds it. It's a third party plugin. You know what I mean? Like. Like voxel, right? He uses this weird terminology for it when that's not actually what it is. So I I don't like when devs do that, especially indie devs. It's okay to admit you didn't create something fully. And that's the only thing I that's the only downside I'd have to say about it. It's okay to admit that other people did the work, uh certain work, you know. Uh, can I ask you a hardware question? Do you know your key plus mouse, dude? But, uh, rate the LY. It's as controllers wherever you can. What do you mean? Hold on. What? Oh, Linuxware? That's control. Wait, wait, what? Is 
is that like a is that like a brand of like um something? Sorry, I'm not familiar with the term. Is it a uh like a controller set or I, I don't know. I haven't um, played with anything that with that brand name. I, I've done the thrust. I have the Thrustmaster stuff, and that's that's all right. It's it's entry level, but that's you know, it's entry level stuff. But but I'm not sure with the uh, that, what you're talking about. I'm not if that's a brand. I have no clue. I've never heard of it. But then again, I don't really go looking for a bunch of proof. Up oh, there, dude. Thank you much for the uh, follow, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> it's a mouse, joystick, and keyboard mashed together. Hmm. Interesting. Let me let me actually look it up. It sound it sounds familiar. That's why I'm wondering here. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a newer version of like an Nostromo. Gotcha. Yeah. Like a like a razor and a stromo. It's like a newer version. I gotcha. Yeah, I'm looking it up. Yeah, it's kinda like a newer version of an Astromo. Or a Razor Naga or something like that, right? So you have the keyboard on one, you have the thumb and mouse on the other with the buttons. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Uh I kind of play like that sometimes when I have it set up, because I do have the Razor Naga. It has the thumb pad, D-pad, and stuff like that. Uh, you all good, bro? I was trying to figure out where you were coming from with that. I was like, what is he? What's what? I, I know I saw the name kind of. I've heard that name a little bit. So I was like, what? Wait, what? Just to be sure. But yeah, those those are those are interesting. Uh, peripherals are like when I play first person shooter, I generally play with my my Razor Naga or I have the Razor Nostromo. And there's also like, I think it's there's another one called the orb. No, the orb weaver. Sorry. My bad. Not, not the, uh, Naga. It's the orb weaver. But, um, they're a little bit more comfortable and it's nice having a, it's nice having a D pad at your disposal for your thumb and a space bar and like a trigger. Right. So sometimes I'll play with that, uh, and my mouse. Uh, what factory am I building? I am building the actual factory for the, the build. The, the road that was supposed to build out here, the um, the concrete and everything, and kind of doing a little bit more building onto the project today, so we get, I can get a little bit more further along. I just want to make a little. I want. I need to see visual progresses as I go through this week massively because I need to wrap this up. Right, and if I get these things, it'll be better my brain. I could focus. All right, so right now my the project's too big, and I'm all over the place. So getting little sections done and getting closer, you know, getting closer to done. I guess I should say, getting closer to done is a mental, a big mental thing right now. With projects this big. Explosives. I a lot more. So getting this building skinned, getting this uh parking lot area built. Uh the main blocks put in anyways, right? And getting some of the upper work around the back side of the building. is a high spot right here yeah all that stuff is massively needs to get done D 
thinking about uh, FS22 and Out of War only? Like for the only games that you play or just for buying like a controller scheme, scheme like that? You have a brain? I thought Dobie has the brains. I mean, sometimes. Depends on my day. Like today is obviously not one of those days. I know, scary, right? This guy gets online and just literally has no clue what he's doing. Yes. Absolutely. Told you guys, I just need to deco sometimes, you know? Like, need to find, I just need to build. I've been so wrapped up in digging that hole out in front of the dam. I just forgot to enjoy myself, I guess, when it comes to decoing. I really just want to Bob Ross shit. You know? Yo, what's up, Primes? Just want to just build. Yeah, I'm on a time crunch, though, too, so... Christian made fun of me and said, are you going to be done done anytime this year, bro? I was like, what? What you, what you talking about? <laughs> well, I actually, I can't answer that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I cannot answer that question. Damn right, dude. 100%, Bob. 100%. I have it all cleaned out, sorted. Gotta go into town for about 30. Are you, are you still at home? Did you hear about his whining and crying because he can't beat someone in leaderboards? No, I don't give two shits about cheaters and exploiters. Give two craps. <laughs> like a happy face, a little happy, a little explosive mistakes. Alright. No, I don't I don't I don't bother myself with people. I don't I don't I don't deal with people like that anymore. That was so me giving a crap about things like that years and years ago. Randy. <laughs> I got bigger things to do, like place blocks and Bob Ross stuff, you know? Oh. I have probably a thousand of these out here. Then I'll take some up and then I have to do some, some painting and things like that. So this is going to go over there. I don't have to merge that in. What's up, Dex? No, honestly, I'm trying to I'm trying to not deal with anything of the old past of GR stuff anymore. I'm kind of I'm kind of just getting sick of it, to be honest. And leave it where it needs to be in the past. You know?
Is there a trick to attaching the buckets to the excavator? Yes, there is. Making sure that you have the correct excavator to the bucket. And um, when you're in a piece of equipment, make sure you just press I. I can't do it here. Go into your inventory, go into the equipment, and then you'll see like a little lock button. Uh, it'll pop up if you're near and close enough, and it'll magically just jump onto it. If you if you don't have the right attachment for the right size of the, the attacher, it just won't come up with that at all. Okay, so this road, I really wish we had angled pieces, like asphalt pieces with stripes already on them. That'd be so nice. Hey, bag, take it easy, brother. Yeah, for example, they will, uh, they will say, uh, EXM, EXB, EXS, and, uh, you'll be able to click on those other ones. Make sure you get the right bucket attachment to the right, uh, Thing or also just will not connect okay so this i can i can launch this over here these can go in and it should line up with that dirt line if i ever did it right and i can just cover all of this man this is going to take me at least another a million or two to make this lot it's okay it's okay because we already have a lot of gold bars running See? Good. Boom. Right, that's all in line. Fill this in. Oh, okay, you just got that shower, don't you? Okay, gotcha. No problem, dude. Yeah, some a lot of a lot of people get the uh the things wrong and they're like, oh I bought the wrong attachment, didn't know. I actually talked to Christian about that and I was like, bro. It all needs to be renamed. It all needs to be redone. It's just confusing people, right? Like, why do you need to make it some weird naming scheme? And he's like, yeah, I agree. <laughs> so hopefully on the next gens, it's all like large, medium, and small, right? <laughs> like, hopefully. Make it a lot, make it a lot easier. Who's back, dude? Thank you much for the, uh, the follow. Appreciate that. No, I don't, Peter, and I'm going to have to start buying things. Oh, that's been a long time. I have my mods on or no? I hate to bother you. It's like, yeah, buy your way to victory. Spend all of your money trying to be a streamer and still get no views. This product will work. Are people dumb and they fall for that shit? Just wondering. Yeah, no, there's there's some things I'm going to have to start buying. Because like, okay, like I was saying, I know this kind of sucks. I know you, all you guys will be like, oh, fucking this bullshit. Eh, bullshit, so I was just trying to get out of all the hard work. Remember when I said, shit's coming, and I'm going to have to cut some corners to get things done, or they're just never going to get done, and that'd be more tragic. We're at that state in a very extreme way, right? So you'll want to see the new content over this. But yes, I will stig still dig the hole out, but I need to fluff a couple of the rules to get things moving a little faster, right? So... It's, I'm still buying it. I'm still earning it and stuff like that, but this has got to get done or else I'm going to be dragging ass into content and you guys are going to be pissed because guess what? I'll be still sitting here beating this away. And, uh, guess what? 
you won't see me doing all the cool shit with all the new shit. It'll all be delayed, so we don't want to do that. You don't, you don't want to see that. Hit this window once I can check. Why is it not going away? There it is. Now I got the close. Thank good. No. What's going on with that app? Crap. Like, really? Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, I needed to, to ban somebody. Like, why ain't that window going away, dude? So I'll spend a couple million over here. I have a lot of gold bars already from the building and stuff. Uh, am I able to talk about some of the differences between the current machines and the next gen things? Well, Christian has really done a lot. They're doing okay. I'll, I'm, I'm very open and honest and transparent with you guys with what I can, but Christian is very, very, they're working so much on so many things. They haven't even been able to give the testers a branch to even test. And I don't think we're going to get a branch to test. <laughs> I'll just be honest. I don't think we're gonna. Because there's so much, he might just have to put it out to everybody. So I don't know. And typically I only get, sometimes I get a lot longer of a time to, to test and showcase things than others times. But, uh, this time is a really, it's, it's a massive, massive thing that they're doing. You guys have read the, the patch notes, right? Like, obviously I've seen things that you guys haven't seen, but I can't really talk about those. And so I generally have to wait for Christian. And this time, a lot of us were a little in the dark and stuff like that with some of these things. They haven't put a build out for us yet, so. Uh, and then when it does come, I have to wait for Christian to... I have to wait for Christian, right? And then I have to make the content, and then I have to get approval to post the content, right? So, as soon as I'm allowed to, guys, I will. I I, ver I will, 100%. Don't worry about it. Like, like all the other updates and stuff like that, and all the other patch notes, I've been pretty on top of it, and I know this one's an important one for you guys. So, as soon as I can, I definitely will. But right now it's it's all everything's up in the air. They're they're just crushing, right? So this is uh this is a pretty big one. What's up, Raid? What's up, Shane? I don't know why I'm going the slow way doing this. What am I doing? I can speed this up, noob. You got blocks to fill in. Stop being, a, stop being a big noob. You know what I mean? Get it rolling, dude. Yeah, games being developed it's all good like everything's like i said it's just uh the anticipation this is a big one this is this is this is the biggest the the biggest patch to date was the open pit mining patch and that had a pretty big impact but however the weird one 
is this last big update, version 0.21, which was kind of a little weird because it came with crafting and a couple other little things, but the interest in the game was a completely changed. And I think it's due to the um, Christian saying that multiplayer was coming, right? That's that's what I'm gonna take it up to be because I've seen now that I've been we've been chatting about it now for almost three months, right? It's been a big focal point on a lot of your guys's discussion about the game. So I'm it leads me to believe that that is why the massive influx of people are interested in this game now. And they're just now finding it and they're just now falling in love with it and and stuff like that, right? So it's probably the case. So it's it's a it's a tough one. But this whole update, this whole everything is going to be the biggest thing we've ever seen that they've ever done. I mean, you guys all read the Friday report, right? This last Friday report. What's this game about? This game is about growing crops and letting and doing no work as a developer and letting the community build their game. Oh, wait, that's farm sim. Never mind. My bad. Hold on. My bad, dude. This game's about digging big holes and building stuff and staring at your shadow going around while you're spamming blocks. That's what this game's about. My bad. I accidentally described farm sim. My bad. Hold on. It is nuking around big giant holes. <laughs> You're completely wrong. It's a porta potty. Absolutely feel like it's a massive work in progress. Yeah, it is. It is a lot. What they're doing is insane. I mean, let's think about it. They're te they're technically tackling three patches in one. Right. Yes, it's taken longer to do, but multiplayer is not an easy task. Yes, they've been working on multiplayer for a while. We all know this. How do we know this? Because the last update, we had multiplayer framework come in that our networks needed approval for. Right? We all saw it. You can't hide that. Would you like to do this on your computer? <laughs> Give administration access to the network for out of war. Hmm. Wonder what that could mean. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> kind of obvious, right? You can't really hide that. Can't, can't really hide that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pop another couple mil. Getting close. Yep, Microsoft's needing access. Something's going down. Damn, this is a lot. Damn it. Am I using a controller? No, I'm using a uh, mouse and keyboard. Seventeen left. Really? Okay. Um. I hope it goes well, dude. They deserve it, man. They did. I hope everything goes good, and I hope it's a smashing success. You know, like we need it as digging game player, digger game players. You know, all those dirt nerds. We've been we've been waiting for this moment for how long now, dudes? Waiting for freaking Gold Rush to maybe get multiplayer or something, and now they're doing a rebrand and the the brain fart of uh, Gold Hunter, you know, never ever becoming anything really anything. Yeah, you know what I mean. The 
We need this, dude, as players. We need, we need MP. We need it. Yes, I think we deserve it, too. I'll say it. We deserve it. Like, as, 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 uh, like, heavy equipment digging games, we need it bad. Real bad. It's been too freaking long, right? Way too long. If you, if you've been back the gold rush days all the way up and now, like this last eight years, we need it. Ruby and lithium make the most, uh, lithium's not in the game anymore. Unless it's in the store. It could be in the store. It might not. We can't mine it anymore. If you... Let me see here. Is Lithium still in the store? No, it is in the store. It is in the store. We can't mine it, though. I think they didn't they take Lithium out. Lithium nodes out. Is it intended to buy that node? No. The economy is massively, massively borked. The economy is massively uh, janky. The economy needs a lot of work. I thought they took lithium out. I don't think there's any reason for it. We can't mine it anymore, right? No, a lot of this pricing and stuff like that versus what we make it for versus what it sells. It don't make too much sense there. <laughs> it needs a little bit of work. You mean to tell me I gotta have to paint like 700 tiles? Gotta get done. I know it's not going towards the damn damn, but hey. You can still mine the lithium? Is it just packed into the minor nodes? Yeah, that's right. It's not, they don't have per se. That's right. That's what they changed it to. They didn't change it from, they just added in a little bit of lithium into the, the nodes. It's not, it's not pure lithium nodes. That's what was changed. My bad. Yeah, he changed, he changed all the pure lithium nodes that were mainly lithium to iron and then the sub materials are lithium and what's where they bauxite now once the new production stuff like that and stuff like that comes into place after all these patches then it'll be uh more than likely uh all changed anyways so that's why i kind of like not really paying attention to this patch and what's actually in the ground anymore it's all just going to get changed anyways. Yeah, aluminum. There you go. It's all just going to... A lot of it's going to get changed and reworked on how we get it or what we get it from. And and uh, once they... More than likely, once they get this stuff all through there. As Christian said numerous times that the production is going to get changed again. And a lot of the fixes and holes and stuff like that will be fixed eventually. So. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's right. The nodes all changed. I just haven't ran it for so long. It's been months since I've ran any of the new material other than just pay dirt. Oh my gosh, I've been pay dirt for so long. I haven't hit an iron node in days, months. I mean, I hit a little bit of an iron node down the bottom of the hill, but I'm just like, meh. area is decked off okay let's go ahead and fill this into the this patch here all kind of good i can nope this area's got to be done i mean obviously we're going to still have like aluminum and the, the new things that we're going to need for all the crafting right and repairs but node structures and stuff like that will all change. What's up, John? Yeah, node structures and stuff I think are all going to change uh, just based off of the conversations we've had in the Q&As. Like um, the new world update, apparently, that's going to be coming later on. We don't have an ETA for that yet, but it will be happening. It's just a matter of when everything else gets ironed out and all the other stuff gets added. 
Most of your iron comes from blasted rock. Uh, yeah, I, I, the nodes do produce a lot. I did, I had a, a couple nodes that I hit that did produce quite a bit of iron and aluminum and stuff like that, right? Just got home from work. How's how doing today? Doing pretty good, man. I was a little busy, so I was a little late. Like I said, I do apologize, guys. I was in Discord hanging out, chatting with everybody too as well. Uh, but I was also working, doing some other stuff for a couple other projects that I'm a part of, so. Oh, that's right. I gotta get the smelters going. Damn. I forgot. I have a lot of gold to smelt. New world. Uh, so a couple Q and A's ago, so I'll, I keep referencing these Q and A's, but maybe what you guys, if you haven't watched the Q and A's, so all the Q and A's are is me and Christian just kind of chatting and shooting the shit and interacting with you guys on the stream. Right? So I have them in a playlist. I've done what four or five with him. So all it pretty much is, is me and him chatting and doing a little theory crafting and answering a couple of your guys' questions. Right. But he's pretty much everything to date. And what's coming in the future, he's already realistically said in those Q&As, right? And you can, if, if you watch him and you go back, you can see the evolution of the game as well as us talking. So I'm pretty much just playing, showcasing the new patch that's coming out. And then we're just chatting and answering questions, right? So, and pretty much me trying to probe him to give you guys more information as much as he's willing to say, right? Because you know, like he said many times, in those you know i don't want to say something too much because i don't want to like disappoint somebody and then we're not do it or we do something different because the better idea comes along right so that's kind of been the whole process all along but they're very good watches because it's just me and him like i said just shooting the shit and answering shit for you guys right and also getting to know christian as well and uh stuff like that right just getting to know him in general yeah probe him huh yep we got, we got to prod them for as much information as we possibly can when we get the chance, right? <laughs> you guys expect no less. Guys are all damn. Are you going to answer? Are you going to answer the, have them try to answer the real questions? I'm like, dude, no, we're just going to sit and have fun. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So the, uh, the open world is pretty much like, and referring to those, what he talked about was that's going to, that's, that's going to unreal five in a sense right so the apparently the world update and stuff like that's going to be ue5 sense from what he said in the past which will be a massive 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 great thing for the game unreal 5 john coming in with a five banger dude much love dude always a good time man would you get to watch dude hey always a good time to get you having you in the stream man i appreciate that support dude i know those guys that uh, got gifted appreciate that as well too I have to do another pop because I want to cover the whole thing up to this point, and then I got to finesse the road in and build all that good stuff. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, so UE5, I know a lot of people are like stoked for it, but it, if done right, it should make the game beautiful. And no doubt, can we get some hypes in the chat for John? I'm excited for it, guys. I, I'm I'm excited for all of it. It's just, you know, this one, this one that's coming up, you know, it just worries me because of the technicality of everything. It's not that I don't have faith in their in the team, because they've obviously been doing a great job so far. It's just a big one. I know is I know is working with dev teams how difficult that they're what they're trying to do is. So if they can pull it off, man, hell yeah, dude. I 100% agree. I think I we've talked about this extensively for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. But I feel what's missing in this game is pre-done roads, pre-done towns, quest areas for, you know, quest givers, like an actual town that has life with some NPCs in it that have quests and things like that, rivers, bridges, that you can't blow up that are just beautiful scenic drive stuff and then having gigantic parcels that we can buy that are 
massive that we would never dig up any of it, all of it, you know, built along these massive, beautiful areas. I think the game really does need that. I think it really does. N not a lot of people share the same opinion, but because they, this is what they tell me all the time is I just want to be able to build anywhere. Well, you still can just not where those little towns are. <laughs> like it's not going to, if you have 200 square kilometers to the left of a road and 200 square kilometers to the right, and there's only a little wedge down the middle where there's a town and a river, you can still do anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not building on the whole map anyway. So why not put infrastructure on the map? Right. And make the like trucking. I want to take a new truck that's coming that we're apparently getting this next patch. I want to be able to take that truck, load my equipment up on it, and drive it to another claim, or drive it to the repairman, or drive it off a cliff because it's a pile of shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I want to be able to have those options for beautiful scenic drives that make sense on the things that we have. Just these basic ass maps is not enough. It needs to be more. It's okay for now, but it needs to be more. Right, not hating or anything. It's just it's fact. We do need we do need that stuff. It's not just fluff. Building anywhere and stuff like that's cool. It's great. It's awesome. But as a new player to the game, you kind of need a guiding hand as well too. Right, and that would kind of that would kind of help. Yeah, I'm I'm all for it, man. I want to see it. I want to see I want to see them go ballistic and make this game even more come to life. Do we do they do we need it? Absolutely, we need it. Do you know how many players people buy this game and then refund it because they don't know what to do because they're lost? That's why we need that shit. A starter town. It's a starter everything, right? You guide them through with the map, and you help them. And play other players like ourselves. It gives us something to do, like buying stuff and accomplishment as far as buying parts of the world and things like that to spend our money on. Not just upgrading equipment, but upgrading land for a purpose. Say one part of this area is more, has a bunch of coal seams. Say certain areas are richer in gold. You can break it up into different areas. And have all the beauty of town and stuff like that. So I 100% I think that it needs to be done. You know? But not everybody, like I said, not everybody shares the same opinion. So, and that's... Some people just want, I only want a bear map. And some people want the ability to do other things have other things to do we need an exchange there's a lot of cool ideas that uh, Christian has and he said num he said numerous times this is nothing what we have right now is nothing compared to what we want to do and I, I believe him I believe him. I'll chat with Dopey, guys. <laughs> you need to interact with some grumpy old dude telling you stories that there's a coal seam over there over yonder? Yeah, any anything, right? Like, I think it'd be cool to see a, a claim that's like, you know, a quest. It's like, hey, I want you to go over here and repair some broken down mining equipment and... If you can manage to get it running and deliver this much, I'll just give you the deed to the claim. And that's how you start the game. And you just go over and it teaches you how to do the repairs. It teaches you how to do workbenches. It teaches you how to do everything. And then if you're a veteran player, you can start the game out with just some cash in a truck and the ability to buy a starter claim and then work your way up to these massive, vast areas of wilderness that are 
untamed, right? Like, because eventually logging's coming to the game. You know, like, you know, aka kind of like farm sim. How's that going to work, right? Because logging the way it is now is not the way it's going to be, apparently. So, you know, like, it's, there's a lot of things I think people are missing that this game could really have instead of just a free build, free dig game. Still give people those abilities, but don't limit yourself and don't limit the imagination of the game. I think it's what a lot of players need to keep in mind. Like people, I mean, pe maybe, maybe people don't understand how big this game is. If you put proper roads in and then other areas that can't be deformed or terraformed, they don't understand how big it is. So it could take you 45 minutes to an hour to follow these roads and go around. Hey, Dark Dude, thank you much for that uh, raid, dude. Welcome, Raiders. Cake as well as the follow. Thank you guys very much. Hope you had a good rest of your stream there, brother. Hope you had a good one. Raid, 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 raid. Yeah, man. Even Minecraft has villages? Yeah, exactly. I think the game needs scenic cool shit. You know what I mean? Like, maybe not you interact with it, but, you know, like wildlife preserves and... You know, you can kind of like, you know, just some stuff to have a map maker really kind of show some nice stuff in some really good areas. I think it would go a long way. Had to go help your daughter. Hell yeah, brother. Understand that. Hey, take it easy, Robin. Have a great night, man. Thanks for stopping in, dude. yeah that's a you know hopefully the world the world we re, re, revamp or rework i guess i mean i guess just game overhaul i don't know i don't know i don't know if it's just gonna be a world i mean most of all the coding and everything will transfer over fine done real but it's just a world that we play on which is technically very basic in a sense if you think about it it's really just a voxel playing with some shit plopped on top of it it's not very much so that being reworked completely is not that big a loss you know if you get what i mean right not too big of a loss the only thing going into ue5 will be just a massive gain to us as what we see as players or it should be not necessarily always works that way with some developers some developers try to take unreal 5 and do some janky things to them that realistically they shouldn't be doing way out of their element of skill That's another thing too is, um, you know, every, you know, one thing I, let's, we can talk, let's talk about this for a little bit. This is a really good subject because, and we always go back to it because I think a lot of us want more. And we'll just start, I guess, with this, the conversation off like that. So wouldn't it be nice to be when you're digging, you actually find underground shit, like underground cave networks and stuff like that, that you cannot just blow up with nuclear bombs and stuff like that. Wouldn't that stuff be cool? Like, or are we just spoiled because we have nukes and we can deform everything? Where do we draw the line between these things, right? Where do you guys draw the line between that? Do you think everything should be terraformable or do you guys think it should be preset areas that are only terrafor uh, terraforming and things like that, right? Like, because some people, some people only want the game to just be like what it is now. One big world doesn't matter. Anything else is fine. Like, I think old mine shafts and stuff like that would be badass where you have to go down there with your pickaxe or mini equipment to get down inside there and dig them all out and shit. You know what I mean? Like, that, I think that, that would be kind of cool, right? You're digging, then all of a sudden you find this big rock structure and you're like, oh, man, you know, and you can't nuke it or do anything like that, right? Yes, everything. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I find that, like, being able to terraform too much can be a bad thing. Like, do we really need to go 30 new coals deep? <laughs> right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like I said, that's where the, the conversation is, right? Like, do we really need to do these things? Like, or, or is it, is it, a, is it, does it make the game, does it hurt the game being able to do some of these things the way we're able to do it right now? You know? Okay, so I'm going to leave that like that for now.
It's pretty straightforward here. I mean, we spent $4 million on that. Cool. You've not used a nuke yet in the game? Yeah, I've seen I've I've seen a lot of people that are like, well, I, I want to be able to terraform anywhere. That means even underneath towns and stuff like that, or else. It's like an or else mentality. Kind of odd. It's like, well, it's kind of nice to have other things too. I mean, a lot of games have a lot of games have preset buildings and stuff like that for quests and everything. That'd be like, here, here's GTA 6. Nothing's built for you. Here, you got to build it yourself. And they're like, but, but I, but I wanted buildings for quests and things and stuff like that. Could you imagine? <laughs> like, I, but I wanted some rivers and towns and docks and stuff like that and like shipyards and <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to have the update now or else. <laughs> you know, right? That's it. I don't get my way. I'm crying about it. Could you imagine? GTA, the ultimate role play. You have to build everything. Then you can game. You have to buy 400 DLCs just to buy your content. Okay, let's see. River panning is a must. I would, I, you know what? I would like to see little things like that too. I would, I would like to see like a little bit of dredging in like rivers and stuff like that too. I would like to see that done. Yeah, proper questing is a, is a must. Like the quest right now, they just don't seem impactful enough and they don't make sense with what you're doing. And I don't think we need many quests if we're talking like just theory crafting the game. I would say if they had a decent sized little town, maybe 10 or 15 quests to kind of get you through the hump of the game and the learning curve, almost like a, just a, a really nice extended tutorial. You know what I mean? Like, this is how you buy claims. This is how you work on claims. This is kind of how you do quests. And you know, here's your pickup truck. And, and you know, kind of go at it like that, right? Because these new players, guys, they're struggling, boys. They're struggling. We see them every day. Every day. Oof, this is a... Well, I can get the foundation done. Have to do it in these blocks. I can't do it in floors, right? So... Oh. I'm allowed to buy the blocks, but I still have to do it with the cement. That was one thing you guys voted on, so... The big... The bigger blocks. You know what? Instead of just blasting that out, let's do this. Nope, sorry, I got a blast. Lack of imaginations where we're struggling? Huh? I mean, a lot of people came in, so they just don't know where to start and what to do. And I think that's, I think that is a, I think that is a lack of early game is what that is. I think that's where that stems from. It's a lack of early game. Get back on some of these comments here. Yeah, I think I think most of the quests should be delivering and digging, but they need to be a little bit more realistic. Like instead of like 
40,000 pieces for $10,000. It's like, well, I could just not do the quest and make way more money. <laughs> right? Like, that's how the quests feel right now, right? Let's see here. Weak-minded. No, uh, I mean, some people, it's not your typical video game, right? It's, it really isn't. Out of War is not your typical video game. You really got to be into the digging space and you really got to be creative right now to really get those hours out of the game. Right, so I don't think it's the, I don't think it's their fault for having an, a problem. You know what I mean? As a as a new player, I don't think it's their fault at all. It's because it's a it's daunting. You get in first. Okay, think of it this way: as a new player, imagine if you've never played Farm Sim, imagine if you've never played Gold Rush or anything like that, and all of a sudden you see this game and everyone's having fun with it, and you're like, oh, now I got to learn how to use heavy equipment. And I got to learn all these things. And then there's nothing else that really tells you what to do or when to do it or why to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you're like, uh oh, uh oh, what are we doing here? You know, you're sent to nowhere and, uh, you're trying to get something done. Well, yeah, but, I mean, that's kind of like the, the way the game is now because there's, it's lacking. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know because Christian really hasn't like divulged his full vision for the game and what it's going to be start to finish. No, I'm not saying about making the game have boundaries. I'm not saying about limiting you completely what i'm saying is giving you an early sense of boundaries to help new players with the game and give life to the map not boundaries per se because if you give somebody a hundred if i give if, if right now most of us most of us more than i would say more than 90 percent of us players do not play on more than one percent of the map so if somebody if they give you 20 percent of a map broken up into these different claims you're still more than enough digging area for you to do anything that you want right so there's more than enough there's way more than enough more like uh guide rails for bowling yeah in a sense Like infrastructure that we can interact with that we can't build ourselves, and even building it ourselves is it's cool and all, but it's not going to be able to function like we want it to because it's better just to have the devs build it and put it in. Sometimes you need that in, that that infrastructure put in onto the map. Not a happy camper today? Why? What's wrong? Oh, you mad? Oh, don't be grumpy. Don't be a grumpy kitty. Hey, grump. She's, she's so mad. Amanda's trying to leave the store and she's just sitting there so mad. Yeah, I've, uh, 50 by 50 would take you forever to dig and you could build massive projects. If, if th this on a 50 by 50, what I'm building now, I still wouldn't even even come close to seeing the boundaries. You could, you could make a road that follows the landscape on a 50 by 50. It would take you two to 500 hours. So I think it's more than enough. If they put, if they put every claim at 25 kilometer by 25, and then they gave us like a 50 and like a 75 and they wedged in some some static town stuff i think that's more than fine and then put road networks to these things and then we have to cut in and go tame the wilderness you know what i mean because it's just it's gonna be a nightmare having to do what if you don't want to my, my problem is this this is what this is what i see happening what if you don't want to come in and build all your own roads what if you just want to go by a big giant area that's made for logging because christian says logging is coming to the game what if we don't want to? So now we're forced to build roads. That's kind of butthole. Now everyone has to build miles and miles of roads 
and flatten and use all this equipment and do all this crazy shit just to go logging right <laughs> so it's like that that's that's what my that's where I, I see the issue coming into place is that people are going to get fed up with trying to drive over this janky terrain and they don't want to build roads for 60 hours not everybody has 400 hours to play right for most of us, we would do that, right? We'll be like, yeah, cool. But we also want this game to sell copies, right? To other people that aren't just high, hardcore dirt nerds, right? We got to think about the, the people that aren't hardcore, right? Because I'll guarantee you, if this game goes hard, hardcore, and it stays hardcore, this game will never grow. It'll fizzle like a wet fart and blow up into nothingness. Can't, you can't make it to where only a small demographic of people will play it, right? And that's kind of where it's at right now. Only a super small demographic of people are playing this game or just waiting forever. Multiplayer is not the only thing people are waiting for, right? So I think as long as people understand that, that it's a... Right, where am I build from this part in? Yeah, MP will make it nice, but not everybody plays with MP, so you still need to have that infrastructure in, right? You still you still got to have it, because not everybody plays with friends. That's what I'm saying. A well-rounded game is definitely needed. Not all, not all of us will play with it. Like, do, will I play with it more than once? No. But it definitely is needed to, to have a well-rounded game. Oh, LOL friends. Yeah. So a lot of people have that, that, uh, not everybody has, uh, not everyone's a streamer. Not everyone's a con, you know, content creator. Not everyone's got 10 or 15 homies laying around ready to do work for them. Like my problem is I got so many of you guys that want to play with me. I have to do freaking additions and shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> so gosh, damn it. <laughs> I got people fighting to sit in a rock truck and do some boring ass shit, right? Like, so, gosh damn it. Listen up here, buddy. Sometimes I just don't want to delete dirt. Nah, I don't, I don't, I honestly necessary. I dude, I've been digging for so many years in video games. You know how refreshing it's going to be for me to actually sit back and watch you guys work as a team and get projects done, hype it and just have a fun time. Dude, I've been waiting for that for years. <laughs> like it's, oh man, dude, it's overdue. I'll tell you that much. It's overdue. Better to have a heap of people than an adult. Yeah, absolutely, man. Like, so I necessarily, like, everyone's, like, everyone's fighting, like, right now. A lot of people, a lot of people have this idea that, like, content creator has to be the one digging in the coolest piece of equipment at all times. Nah, man, I got other shit to do. I need the best operators in those pieces of equipment and, um, you know, making that shit work. You know, I need people that like being in rock trucks that just want to be a part of it and hang out. And uh, are serious about it and don't go take a 45 minute pee break while we're trying to fill trucks, you know? Like, I'm, most of the most of the time, I'm probably going to be recording. Like, I'll probably be recording and just streaming and chatting and hanging out and, you know, during the, the live team, right? Like, there's, I mean, if people are there to piss off, I, I mean, a little bit piss off is cool and all. But if the project's not getting done and people just want to fuck around and hold things up, you're going to get replaced, right? You're going to get fired. You're probably going to get publicly fired because for the content, just saying. So just be warned. It's nothing personal. Content comes first, right? <laughs> just saying, bros. <laughs> you, 
You sitting in your excavator spinning around like this, you getting fired. Just saying. You getting fired. You going to the unemployment line. <laughs> no, I necessarily, like I said, I don't necessarily just want to be like, you know, I don't want to just be in the, in the thing, right? I definitely, we're definitely going to do some stuff different than everybody else. I'm holding that very tight because there's a lot of things that I'm going to be doing, uh, coming up here, like the RP series. And that's very, that's going to be a very scripted series. I hope it, I hope I can pull it off with everything else. Like I guess I got a lot of shit going on. The RP series isn't coming out right away, by the way. It's not going to be like, I don't want to jump into it. This is something that's going to take me hundreds, if not a thousand hours, just to put a, just to put one series out, like one season of it. So I got to film thousands of shots and do tons of voiceover work with other people and other streamers and content creators that you guys know. So... We have a few signed on. We've talked about this in the past. Um, so yeah, there'll be some lines where they have some funny, some funny lines, stuff like that. It's just, it's just for a humor thing. All the real digging and stuff like that we'll be doing on stream, right? So we'll be playing and doing the normal streaming stuff, but that's just another project that I want to do with this. I've always wanted to do it with, uh, with gold rush and they never, ever had a game worthy enough doing it for, and and also it's just really hard to get the shots in that game so yep and freaking farm sim is just too basic for me i don't like the ground i don't like how you have to like build this weird fantasy thing going on you know what i mean it's not enough you still need to buy a pc dude you should I'd run compactors i mean if it means i get to chill and play uh, depending on the day, um, I got to figure out, well, first off, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that I, there's a lot of ifs, right? So once I clear up some of the ifs, then I'll be able to give you guys a little bit more of a rundown of what's going on and how people are going to get to play. And that's all going to be content driven as well, too. So not right off the bat, are we just jumping in and letting everybody come in? It's not going to be a free for all. Sorry. You know, there's a lot of stuff that I got to do, so. Just throwing it out there for you guys. Keep you guys informed, right? I want to be able to play with you guys, but you know what I mean? Let's go. Yep. Am I even going to be able to finish this floor? Holy cow, dude. Uh, do I know what the the maps cocoa puff limit is? I know a lot of the equipment is I think it's around three thousand for the equipment, but I believe it's thirty five thousand um, when you're blasting before you hit the before you hit the actual engine limit itself, and the game starts to have a multiplying effect on the amount of things that it can process per second. The process rate, right? The cycle rate of the engine. So that and that and that rate, if you're blasting, is around 35 to 40 RDX half place. So it's around that. Oh, you mean like moving the actual like dirt? I don't think there's a limit. I don't, I don't believe that there's a limit. I mean, we have, we, sorry, well, we have found that the game file does gain size from terraforming, right? It does gain size. Not as much as when you place blocks and stuff, but it does gain size when the more you terraform and the more you move. But no, it doesn't have theoretical limit other than file save size, I believe. 
I've terraformed probably more than almost anybody when it comes to this game and actually doing it with over the time. I've never found a limit. Some people say that they've hit a limit and their computer started to lag, but then you look at the size of their mine and it's not that big. It's mainly a hardware issue that comes up with a, a, like an anomaly that they can't figure out or, or we can't figure out what it is. And that's happened a few times. Like uh, Team Man Joe, a couple guys in Discord, you'll see going, I'm playing the game one day and then the next day I'm getting like two frames per second. Right? So we have seen that happen. And pretty much all of us take it, Christian, the other guys, and we're all, we all loaded up on our computers and we're all like, hey, what the fuck? It doesn't lag for us. Why is it lagging for you? That's weird. Okay. <laughs> now let's go down to the list that WTF is going on. Right? That's, it, it sucks, man. I hate seeing people when they're like, I can't play. One day I was playing, now I can't, you know? So in theory, you can have, well, a Cocoa Puff spawned and then merged there's different states right so spawning it you theoretically can have as many as the game engine will allow you to have out but you will get literally one frame per minute right i don't think there is a i don't think that there actually is a limit to how many you can have of the actual ball in the world at one time i've, I've let off two three thousand uh, RDX full blasts or like pretty much yeah half blast actually because you can only blast half the radius so four meters I've let off two three thousand on the top of on underground and eventually it comes to the point where it's still blasting but it takes like 20 hours for it to blast and it will never process by the way guys the the computer is just tricking you you're it's not that it's not sorry not the computer it's just the game the game's tricking you it will never allow you to finish It'll give you the illusion that you will, and you'll sit at your computer for six to ten hours, but it will eventually just fatal error because it finally got to the point where it fatal error is just lagged out. So that's what I was saying. Watch your blasts. Keep them small. It's fa you know. Keep them small. The upside down pyramid was pretty cool. That's what started all of it, dude. That and the belt and the uh, the mi underground mining patch. That's what started all the doom. You know, well, the way I thought about it was, is I was like, you know what? Either I show people or, you know what I mean? Somebody else is going to eventually find out and do all this crap, right? I was like, eventually, I was hesitant on showing it too. Like, even just dozer mining was kind of like, eh, you know. Yeah, it computer dependent, uh, but at a certain point, we are all affected regardless of computer and how good your computer is. I've had somebody tell me, like, li literally, t this, like, I'm not shitting you. The exact same specs that I have, exactly. And they swore up and down that they don't lag and they can blast thousand RDX off in one time. And I was like, show me the proof. They unsubscribed and never came back. <laughs> yeah, it's like, damn. Like, just show me the proof. Like, just record. Like, all you have to do is 40 minute, 40 second recording. And to just prove me, I, I want you to prove me wrong. You know, you know what I mean? Unsubscribed, never seen again. Like, gosh damn it. Okay, so was I right or... No, or did I just piss you off? <laughs> you know what I mean? Of course you can light off 30,000 30, Draymite. They don't do anything. Couldn't handle it? Yeah, no. Some people can't. It's okay, though. It's, you know what I mean? It's like... It, the thing is, is, you got people running around saying this shit, and it's not true, right? So every, everyone thinks it's in their computer, too, which is weird. It's like, okay, here's one test. Anybody that's in the game right now, drop a couple nukes, drop like two, three nukes, right? Deep. Two, three nukes deep. And then go downward, and then put a whole bunch of Dramite, and like, on the ceiling. Hell, just do... Do, 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 do 300. You know? And what happens? Watch your computer task manager. You will see 
it just caps out at a very low amount and the game is getting one frame per second. It's not your computer. It's definitely not your computer. It's just the game engine. That's all it is. The physics engine can't handle that many instances in the world at one time doing all that it's trying to do. And the belts run at a different cycle speed. So they have an issue and that's where that popcorning overflowing weirdness comes from too. So it's a very, it's a very weird thing. I think uh, parts of the map don't spawn until you actually tunnel. Or you, well, it's all just a flat plane, right? It's all just like a little thin piece of paper. That's how the voxel thing works if you think about it, right? So most, not I mean, everything you see is all just like, imagine this is, how can I describe it? Imagine two people holding a towel and someone drops a bowling ball on it. Did anything under that towel ever exist? No. The bowling ball pulling it down making them move it down is what exists and only exists. And you can see that when you look at the world, the mesh plane, right? So it doesn't really exist until you push it down and generate it. And then it's saved, right? As the player. So there, it, nothing's really there now. However, I, if you went down right now and I dug say a, a giant area and I could spawn down into the world and build something that exists because it's built out of an actual object or an asset. I agree. Let's go and save. So that would exist, right? So that's what I'm saying. You can, but he, they can bury things in the ground like Easter eggs and we got to find them. But the problem is, is we can see through the static mesh. So it'll be easy to cheat them. <laughs> right? I'm like, gosh, damn it. <laughs> you know, everybody, everybody will just go find it and put it all on fucking Reddit. And no, oh, they'll make videos and this is where you find all the stuff. And this is how you can cheese dick the game. And you know what I mean? I'm guilty of that too, because Hey, it gets views, right? It, it is all an illusion, Matt. That's what I keep trying to tell people. Making the, a great developer will use as little as possible. Their goal is to use as little as possible to trick the player and create the illusion that you're doing something. That is a great developer that has all that in mind. How can I do as little as possible to make the player feel like something magical is happening? Right? Like, that's why I like doing what I do. I'm a conceptor. I'm not an actual, like, coder. But I can put certain things together to make it look like that's how it's done in a game. And then I hand it off to the nerds. And the nerds can build it. Right? And I'm not that... I'm not the coder. Like, I do concepts and things like that, right? Like, I've already... I've showed you guys all the pictures and stuff, right? Like, the dredging and, and stuff like that, right? I can build it and stuff like that. To where I can put footnotes on it and then the, the the actual coders build it right and then I go back through and then they take it and they go okay well this is this is what you you did now go through it again okay then I'll go through it again and I'll add more onto it and I'll start adding subcategories and different things like that right so that's pretty much what I do I don't I don't code I just go through and uh, sub fill and stuff and so that's that's pretty much what I've done so far. But that's it's 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 really cool. I like the process. I like I'm not a coder, man, and mad respect to those guys that do code. And just like those guys are like, well, I'm not a most coders are not visual people, right? They look at code, they're not like, I'm gonna make this look nice, and you know what I mean? They just mess it up. All they can draw is a stick man, you know what I mean? Like, not everyone's gonna be able to be a painter, not everyone's gonna be able to be a musician, you know what I mean? Not everyone's gonna be a coder. Uh, things like that, right? So having a good, well-balanced team is important when it comes to building video games, right? You don't want generally one person doing everything. You really generally want people that are good in their field, right? So that's um, it's that's the bonus, right? It's having people good at what they do. That's why terraforming increases the size because you're increasing the surface file. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's why it changes everything. That's why when you warp to another part of the world and you come back, it's got to reload all that and, and stuff like that, right? In that in that section. The little bit of UE5 I learned blew my mind, especially opened my mind how it's all actually works. It, yeah, honestly, Mad, with the amount of work that I've done on UE5 and the projects and selling concepts, I stopped doing it because it made me jaded and I stopped enjoying games. And I just had to stop looking and deep diving into games. Because it, it kind of took away the fun 
when you know how it's done and all the smoke and mirrors is gone. <laughs> right? You're like, oh, well, shit. Now it's not, <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're like, oh, man. I wish I didn't know that. <laughs> now it's ruined. Okay, let's fill some of this in now. It does. It ruins it for you. It really, it really does. It might be. It might seem weird, but you draw a mean stick, man. Why did that? Uh. Oh man. Be right back. One second. Gotta go. Oh, my back. The cats were making a shit ton of noise. I had to figure out what was going on out there. <laughs> like a royal, like a freaking battle royale in the living room. They were out there. <laughs> Dopey, Dopey's moving stuff around the living room because we're getting ready to like spring clean and get rid of everything in our house. And just like completely just get rid of everything. <laughs> and the girls are out there just fighting. Knocking stuff over. Mad that mom went to town. Gosh damn it. I'm gonna merge this wall in here. Yeah, that works. Okay, that works good. I take it. Yep. Prairie dog in it. Oh. Wonder what happens if you put a nuke across the entire map and blow it up all at once? Not much. I've already did it. <laughs> already been there. No, yeah, the nukes don't really cause lag because they don't create anything. Right, so. You just get a lot of holes. That's a really good way to build a river, though. Honestly. Or a canal. Really good way. Drop like three, four hundred nukes in a line through the through your through the lowest part of your valleys. Then just fill that all in water. Build a couple of bridges, stuff like that. Put a couple of boats in there. A really good way to build a, like a canal. It makes really bright lights. Yes, it does. Uh, yeah, uh, to get back here, you get back to your discussions. Uh, game companies haven't really touched the power of UE5 yet? No. No, they have not. Um, we probably won't see the power of Unreal 5. We probably won't see the power of Unreal 5 fully unlocked for video games probably until five years from now. Uh, that's, that's my rough guess, is about five years. They haven't even touched... They haven't even touched the true potential of that engine yet because it's not even done. It's not even done being built yet, right? So 
they're still adding a lot of the core features to uh ue5 ps the end i think the end of ps6 is lifespan or possibly well wait how, how long do you think the lifespan of ps5 is going to go we'll just use ps5 as a reference how long do you think the lifespan of that generation is going to last how many more years no we've talked about this before but you know it's been, been a while how long do you guys think that that uh gonna go okay i'm gonna skin this for right now just to use these as the placeholder and the building's gonna look a little bit more completed but this i like i said i cannot complete this building until season five i can't so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put some skin on it for now i'm probably not even gonna put a a ceiling on it uh, right now because I need I need the rest of this money for uh, blocks for the, for the dam so maybe another you guys think it's do you think it's gonna go five years damn two or three years I was thinking probably another three and then we'll get an announcement and it'll probably be on the fourth yeah it's gonna be five I think you're right but five is, I think five might be a fair seven years total PS5 for, you mean a 10 years from now or 10 years in total? Game consoles lifespan is seven to 10 years. That's true. Okay. Yeah, that is true. On average, you're right. Seven to 10 years. So how many years would that be from now? What year would that be? I don't even remember when it came out now. How long has it been out for now? Two years? It's not going to be two years. No. No, it's not been two years already. No way. Have I saved as of late? Uh, yes. One second here. We'll drop another one. Has it been, has it been two plus years? Is this Christmas three years? No, no, right? I'm tripping. You mean this Darth Vader or the Stormtrooper backpacks been sitting back here for almost two years? A little more than three years. Did I go into a coma or something like that for like a year or something? Th three. I was thinking it was barely hitting two. Three. What? True. I did lose like six months to like real life that I didn't even know happened, apparently. And then like. <laughs> yeah, true. I guess I did. I did lose around, yeah, like eight months to life and then like four, like three months to COVID. And then this game came out and like, I don't remember from October to like February or like the end of, sorry, end of January with how much con, I don't even remember certain. So maybe, yeah, I guess maybe I'm missing a year because of that. <laughs> like, that was, not, you know, I'm not, okay. I, I believe you guys. I'm not, <laughs> I'm missing time. <laughs> Gosh damn it. November 12th, 2020. Is that seriously? This November will be four years. What in the, the Twilight Zone going on here? Oh, I guess true. We did sit for a really long time with like no games to play. That is right. Oh God, I got sneeze. Oh no. And we can batten on my monitor. Shit. That is not a sky boogie. Just a boogie. Crane's still in the building. You're still trying to figure out where the last 10 years went? I mean, I guess this whole last year and a half has been pretty crazy for me. I mean, I guess this last two years have been pretty crazy. 
and going to work, dealing with all this crap, trying to like rebrand, do the channel, out of war. It's been pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, I'll, I'll admit, it's been pretty crazy. It's been, it's been, it's been, it's been crazy, but in a good way. Not every moment's been great, but I think this last, last three years has been pretty decent. I've enjoyed the change, I'll tell you that much. I've enjoyed it, but it's not been bad. And okay. Can't complain too much, you know? Everything can always be better, but I'm thankful for it. We, we've had a good last last year and a half, two, almost two years now. Everything's been uh, looking on the up and up, you know? Sometimes in life, you just get handled, handed a shit sandwich and you just got to take it, you know? What am I doing? Place these bombs. Let's go. We earn the money. Let's go. Yep. Same her. I got my day one. Oh man. Remember when they messed with me on Amazon? <laughs> they were like, they were like, your order is not going to be fulfilled. There was a problem or some bullshit. And then they're like, sorry. Oh no, that's what it was. They went to go take payment, but for some reason it didn't like go through. I was like, what the shit? I got like a grand in the bank. I know I have enough. And something got me. <laughs> and then I then they said that they gave our pre-order position away. And I almost had a fucking meltdown. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. You've absolutely gotta be shitting me. Dude. Oh, I was mad. Oh, I was mad. Block. Oh, are we done with the floor and everything? Ah. Life is a mine. God dig it. All right. Okay. Yeah, but others didn't. I waited until the hype died down. Yeah, I got my P dude. Yeah, that's that was that was crazy, dude. How they they oversold by thirty something thousand units in Canada on Amazon. They made a massive mistake. Ooh, that was a big mistake. You know what I mean? That was a big, that was a big boy mistake. Oh my gosh. Oh dude, I know some people. I was I was actually thinking because I actually had two pre-orders just in case. I was actually thinking about just paying for it and then scalping one out because they were going for like three grand here on the island. I was like, hmm. But I didn't want to be that dick. You know what I mean? I'm an asshole, but dude, that's you know what I mean. As a gamer, I know that that would make me upset if I saw people do it you know people doing that it makes me upset right so I wouldn't want to contribute to the the douchery you know by putting a ramp into the factory uh these are gonna be the loading areas so there's not there but I'm gonna I'm gonna put a uh center thing like this out here in blocks is that I'm not finalizing this in any means. I'm probably going to tweak it later, but I, I got to get the building blocks in, right? Like some of the blocks. Uh, I will probably come out here like this. Pretty oversized, but it's for a reason. Cannot disclose what it is.
Yes. Yes. Okay. Let me go. Aerial cam connect. <clears throat> oh, I still got to do that side too. I just want to get some of the skinning done in this area because it's going to be insane after, right? So I want to get some of it. It, it just looks different when it's skinned. You know, slow, slowly start getting the wall panels and stuff like that put in. It's been blank and empty for so long that it's like, you know, it needs, it needs, it needs some loving, you know? Need to put a little bit of money into it, you know? It's, it's time. It'll blend the corner in, okay? Yeah. All right. All right. <sighs> it's gonna hurt my soul, but you gotta get it done. Let's pull out the was pull out the freaking asphalt. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice to have big gigantic? Um, wouldn't that be nice to have big giant asphalt pieces to play with, with like lines already on it, like for corners and like intersections and. Like walk paths and do that. Yeah, that'd be nice. I mean, I'd much rather see it. I'd much rather see it be a piece of machinery that lays down a spline and it locks it in place and then puts like a road layer on it that we can't deform after unless it breaks a whole chunk or a section. I'd much rather see it be like that. But hey, I'll just take, I'll just take assets, you know, as well. After I get my PC, I will never play anything else. <laughs> after I got I get my PC, I will never play anything else. Uh, I have a PS4 and Xbox S. Well, it just sits there and it just sits there. Yeah, I try on uh, my my PS5 just sits there too. Like right? because the all the games that have came out, there's nothing really there that makes me go, ooh, I want to play that. And I kind of bumps me out. I mean, you guys bought my PS5 for a minute. Game, right? But I did play um I did play Hogwarts Legacy. That was actually that was pretty fire. I did like Hogwarts Legacy. That was good. Yeah, she was a good one. A McLovin? Yep. Oh my gosh. I am not. Oh, dude. I. Oh, I'm bad. Okay. I was at a restaurant. I am not. I'm not kidding you. I was at a restaurant. Dopey. Here recently. I mean, Dopey, you're sitting there and we're just, we're kicking back and we had this server come and. She was sitting there and she's like, oh, what do you guys, you guys want some beers or something? We ordered a couple beers or, you know, and then we were going to get some food. And then she comes back and she takes our order. And then when our food's coming, I am not, I am not shitting you. I came to our table, put our food down. I turned to look at him and I said, McLovin, is that you? He looked just like him. Like identical, like a, like a twin. Like I was being punk, dude. Where's Ashton Kutcher? Because this motherfucker's McLovin. Okay. Dopey just started laughing. I felt so bad because he probably gets that all the time. Like I, I it was, it was one of those things that was involuntary. I couldn't stop myself from saying it. It just fucking brah, out. You know what I mean? And the look on his face was like, God damn it. Not again. <laughs> like, I just like, oh man, dude. Dopey just started bursting out laughing. I was like, Dopey, shut up, dude. Shut up, Dopey. Just, just stop it. Don't make fun of McLovin. You can't help it. You can't help it, dude. The guy, he looked, I'm not shitting you. He was, it was a dead ringer, man. That was. Oh, man. That dude, if he doesn't use that in his life as like a bonus, he is missing out on a massive opportunity in life. Just saying. That'd be cool to have some, uh, having some asphalt, 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 asshole. Yeah. Something like that. I wonder if it happened. Yep. The game. <laughs> just, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Quiet team, man. Don't crash them just because you use nukes. 
Maybe your potato, but <laughs> I'm just messing, dude. How you doing, team man? Yeah, dude was straight up McLovin. I'm not even. It was. I've seen some guys that look kind of close, but this guy, I was having a hard time. I was having a hard time not uh, looking, dude. And like, you know what I mean? Last thing you want to get caught is, is just, you know, staring, right? It's just rude. I'm alive. The sun came up pretty good. Yep. Right or all. Yeah, dude. You don't want to get caught. You know, it's like, dude. But if you look like a TV character, dude, you kind of have to kind of expect it, right? I would. I mean, you, dude, I was mistaken for Butterbean and got free food one time, dude. I was like, hell yeah. Let's go. This shit's awesome. <laughs> this shit's fantastic. Just close these off. Go finish the other side. You got to own it at a certain point. I agree. I agree. You can't let shit that shit ruin your life, man. Especially when something's like so influ, like the movie's so popular, right? Like you can't. I mean, of course you could do. I mean, you could do anything. You'd be as, just about as pissed off as you want to be, right? But you're right, dog. You have to own something like that, right? The best thing he could do would be like, hell yeah, McLovin. Chicka, chicka, yeah. Dude, I would have fucking lost my shit and probably gave him a $50 tip right there, dude. You know what I mean? Like, dude. <laughs> Come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Do it again. Do it again. Just like, make it rain. <laughs> oh, dude. Placed it like in the thing there. No, stop doing that. No, stop it. I have enough wall pieces. All right. Okay. You look like you worked with a, you worked with an old guy that looked like the clown from Devil's Reach. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, what is his name? What's the actor's name? I always forget the the actor's name that. that uh... I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Let's buy, let's, like I said, let's buy some paint here. Uh, we gotta go, we gotta go with the black paint. I gotta be doing any striping today, but I'm just doing a lot of the bulk work that's gotta get done. Like I said, it has to get done. I got to ask you guys yesterday, should I do it on stream or do you, it's, I know I'm not doing anything fancy today, but you know, it's still gotta get done. Nothing fancy, but you know. Yep, I'm going to see if I can get Christian to change this, if he hasn't already. 
Why not? Give us 9999. We can sell 9999, but we can't buy. I did I used to like it when you used to click this. Instead of doing that, it would just add an extra rose and then you could boom, check out, right? But just give us just 99, right? Like, come on, man. You gotta make me hate my life just buying things. Need a bigger shovel to smooth my walls. That's, you know what? That's, that's why I miss the old tools. I miss the old tools before hand tools where the range was longer. Right? I miss the long range uh, tools. Like, without the tools, tools, you know? That's what I miss. We need extendo tools. I dude. Damn it. I know. That's the first thing I was like, I did, I was, you, you can ask Gretchen. I was not a fan when he gave me the patch and I was doing the thing for the tools. I was like, bro, I am angered right now. <laughs> Anger. I was like, this is some bullshit. <laughs> I, I, I'm glad people are going to hate this. Just want to let you know. Because the, 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 the destruction hammer was like the slowest one, the slowest destruction hammer was like four seconds to delete an object. So you're like, bang, deleted. Okay. Let's go over to this one. <laughs> bang, delete that one. Okay. Go to the next one. <laughs> so if you made a mistake spamming blocks, you were doomed. I was like, you know what's going to happen? Everyone's going to rage, dude. Just, just trust me on this, dude. Just, just trust me. You don't want that heat. You don't want that smoke. It's, it's coming your way, dude. I'll save you right now. Just change this. Just trust me. And he changed it, and it was even worse. People were like, it's even too slow. He even changed it to like one second, and people were freaking out. I made that crack hammer. Well, he came out with that stuff real fast in the hotfixes because, you know, if he was at four seconds and I said one second was would be okay... You guys were like, nope, we need like quarter second. And I do agree, but you know. I tried to ask him if he could uh, change the placing cooldown. Get a reply. Yeah, I, I do not like the placement slowdown, but I know why he has to have it. So, um... With the higher end PCs, we could place things so fast that it would actually render the object in before the sound causing a fatal error. So he had to add the slowdown to things for upcoming multiplayer. Uh, yes, we do need milk. If you want to grab a couple gallons, please do so. So that's why we did ha we do have to have a swing timer and stuff like that. Because MP will pretty much be unplayable if everyone's sitting there spamming shit at the fastest rate. I had to build scaffolding to smooth my walls. Yeah, I know. That's kind of a, you know, that's kind of a bummer. I mean, I, I, when you're blasting, I like to blast off some of the high parts. But, and the other thing that irritates me is you can't put freaking... I, I used to like building the walls and then putting the explosives on them and then blasting on the wall face and it would allow you to make the walls like really smooth, right? I don't think, believe you could do that, but you could use the, you can use the things, but blasting on the walls made it really easy. So I don't really like, I don't trust the grid. The grid sometimes is really stupid. If you're looking straight up and walking back in a straight line, the grid's nice if you're on a flat surface, but if you're not on a flat surface, this damn thing's gonna be placing explosives all over the damn place. They're gonna be popping stupid holes everywhere, and I'm not really a fan of the grid. 
in in that manner. One stupid misplaced Draymond ruins it all, and you're like, damn it. Yeah, I agree. It does. Pisses me off to no end. Well, I don't have any friends, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, where I actually found the issue with spamming blocks so fast was when I was actually building the Hoover Dam on a on a project uh, on a save on season three after season three. When I took that month and some change off. I was doing a lot of testing and building and stuff like that, and I could crash the game every time. I was placing blocks so fast that um, what. What I could force the game to do is when you backstagger build, you're walking backwards and you're just doing this on a wall and it's placing those blocks in the grid. It was, I was spamming so fast, the game would just, just freeze every time. And then on top of it, I was deleting blocks super fast too. And the deleting would cause the problem even more. So it's, uh, yeah, there's a, there is a, call, a calling issue that happens. Hopefully, I mean, we do have some, we are getting some really weird crashes that don't produce reports. Um, yeah, it's just a strange one. Like Grumpy keeps getting them. I was getting them for a little bit. I saw the last couple weeks, right? It was just random little things that were causing the game just to close. It just closed out of nowhere, just for no reason. All right, just close. Okay, uh, do I not get a crash report or a fatal air crash? Nope, just closed. Some of you guys have like, I've never had a crash. You know, it's like, I didn't have any for the first 230, 240 hours of this save. Not one. Yeah, use the scaffolding and explosive explosive explosives. <laughs> I went a I may a little went a little heavy on the explosives in season one, dude. I anytime Christian changed something to get the ability for us to move massive amounts of material, I took. I was like, you know what? Sorry, Amanda. I need to be playing this right now because Christian's probably gonna patch it in a few hours. And this is how I'm gonna move this effing mountain. <laughs> so When they remember when remember the remember when we got the first dozer that was like would just delete anything, it just deleted everything. <laughs> I was so happy that day. I dozed so much. It's like yes, need to strip massive amounts of overburden. And the day the nuke we got the nuke. Oh man, it was a, that was such an amazing moment to get that nuke. Old man naps are real. The nuke was like the overburden has finally been met its match, right? The dozer that made perfect, yeah, perfect tunnels. Yeah, that dozer was sweet. I, you know, I like the, I like the dozers. You were too close to detonate. Yep. I I really do like the dozers to be a little bit more on the deletey cheesy side. I think we have so much material in this game to chew through. Time wise, I like the dozer to be a little bit more on the on the butthole side of things. 
Let me know how you guys feel about that. I always ask because it's I always wonder. I feel I feel like the dozer being a little bit more powerful, like the way the 400 works right now. I think that's a good balance. Because I like how I feel and how I kind of see it. How I feel is it's it's an equipment version of Draymite is how I feel about it. And it needs to be that way because there's just way too much material and overburden to move. Hard disagree on Deleted Cheesy. Yep. So everybody has their different ways of wanting to play it. It's just so much material to move, right? Right. Like the dozer is meant even in real life to move massive amounts of material. A grader is more probably what you're looking for, uh, Diva. Actually, the actual working good grader in the game would be more what you're trying to go for. But a dozer is, you know what I mean? A dozer used to be is a dozer generally is to push a lot of material, right? It's gonna be hard to save material with these voxel games. But the dozer is like, it's just too much material to move around all the time. We gotta have something. We can't just sit there and be blowing up with things with nukes constantly. Right, they gotta get some progression somehow. I think I used to watch you play farm sim back in the day. You probably did. Me and Dopey. Me and Dopey. Um, we did the Western Wilds saves. Is that what you might be referring to that? Yeah. We did a lot of Western Wilds hardcore survivals and stuff like that. Oh my god, I just went through all that. Oh. Yeah, if, if you've watched on Twitch and you don't know why you're subscribed to me, that's probably because you probably watched us play Farm Sim or Construction Sim. And um, we went back to YouTube after we got completely really bent over by Twitch uh, a, couple years, a couple years ago. Right, so... But now we're back and we're broadcasting on both and the main part of the channel's on... Uh, YouTube. So we just want to broadcast for the Twitch Twitch homies again and and uh here we are. Well, technically with a dozer, you're not supposed to be pushing material over vast distances, right? So the dozer, the way the dozer works now with it being overpowered, you just want to push it short distances in the game versus real life, right? Because in real life, you don't have a loss, right? But in the video game, it's very hard to push that material that long of a distance without causing issues in the voxel world. It's kind of always been... Thing that they've had to conquer. Ozzy, reprime it up. They've been subscribed for 25 months. Is it that long, dude? Is it that long, man? Thank you much for that, Oz, for the prime, dude. 25 months, huh? Freaking two years. Yeah, like I said, time frame matches. Like the dozer is pretty accurate to a like, game. Well, gameplay to real life is always going to be the difficult factor of every video game, right? But I feel like the dozer in a short distance feels pretty good if you're using it correctly. It feels pretty good if you don't have the blade tilted all the way down. I feel like the pushing is okay. Uh, I mentioned this probably about a week or two, probably about three weeks ago. Um, the dozer in the beginning used to have what we called cut and carry mode where with one button you could turn off the ability to cut more ground and just push the voxels that you have in front of you. I actually prefer that dozer better. I prefer that dozing way better in the early part of the game. I think that's the best the dozers ever felt. Got on lurk mode, not feeling well. Hey bro, get feeling better, buddy. 
Definitely, man. Get feeling better, dude. Get some get some rest, dude. To renew, y'all good, dude. Yeah, I that's the dozer that I prefer to cut and carry mode. If you go back and watch the very beginning before the dozer got any nerfs at all, like the very first version of the game, the dozer was brilliant minus the crashing. The dozer was so nice. I, I wish he could, he, I wish he would revert back to that. You're right back putting on the war paint. I don't know. I like the dozer. T-Man, you played a lot back then. How do you feel about that if you're still watching, buddy? How do you feel about the old dozer, like, cut and carry and how it worked versus now? He's an OG player. Anybody else, too, chime in. If you guys remember the old cut and carry dozer. I know a lot of you guys couldn't play with the dozer back then because it just completely murdered your computers, but if you did... Yeah, because being able to turn off the thing from cutting all together and just pushing the voxels was a great, great thing. And that kind of it kind of is along the lines of what you're saying, Dave. It's nice to be able to push the material, but not. That's exactly like what I was telling Christian here recently. Possibly bring that back, like because that was a good feature. It really was. But if this, who knows what the new dozing might look like if the do new dozing's even changed. So I'm not sure. Still waiting to see that stuff. Huh? Oh, check yourself with the vid. I thought you were talking to me. No, you mean the vid vids. Yes. Yeah, definitely, definitely cut and carry would be fantastic. Guess you guys are all young players. How dare. Where's all my OGers at? Yep, got the vids. Yep. I just like to see the dirt you're pushing behave more like real dirt. You mean? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. You, you would, I'd rather, I would honestly, I would rather see, I would much rather see the world, the, the, it, it's like, imagine, you know, when a boat, like, are you pushing something through water and how it reacts like that? I would kind of like to see the dirt act like that in front of the dozer, right? We're here digging, you know what I mean? Like, but, but that might, I don't know. I, hopefully he can pull something off like that. You know what I mean? I really do. But, you know, it's, I don't know how hard that's going to be, you know, that's, that's getting into, into territory that I'm not familiar with, but not saying it's not possible, but I, I get, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Cause that would be like the ultimate, right? But it's, um, I think we're always going to have some type of loss factor. Yeah, that I think. Yeah, that thing. That's what you, you were trying to say. Yeah, it's like it's kind of like something pushing through water, just displacement, realistically, right? It's almost like a fluid, but not. Kind of like if you, kind of like if you take the whole giant little picture that he showed of the bucket and put a box like that in front of the dozer, where if you're pushing, you'll see it just kind of mound up and move. That would be something, but I'm not sure if he can do that on the scale of the dozer if he already hasn't already. I don't know though. We'll have to see. And if it is, can't wait to show you guys. <laughs> right? We'll see. We will see. Hopefully. I'm hoping it is, honestly. I would love to see the dozer 
be even upgraded to next gen as well too because the dozer's been a massive fight and it's been horrible and it's always back and forth the same thing with the damn roller the balls need to go no more balls all right i've been saying this for how long now like balls no no more balls just like when you got that cranky old dog and you're just like listen bro no more balls man going to get neutered no more balls They just, they're just, they, okay. My, my, I just feel that they look, they make the game feel generic when you see them. I, I, I've always felt that about the, them, that it just feels too old school. Like a, like, like the giant machine game before gold rush, right? Like it was kind of cool and all, but the big giant tater balls, is just too, yeah, exactly. Too cartoony. It doesn't fit in a modern, you know, quote unquote, next gen mining game. It just doesn't. It's too corny. It's too, it's too bleh. And I know he really wanted, I know he really, really, really wanted the game to be that way, right? I know he did. That's why he fought so hard to keep it that way. But every one of us was like, dude, just give it up already, man. Bulk mode is, makes the game so much smoother. But he really didn't want bulk mode. He always had something a little different. Like I know I've talked to him a lot about it. I was like, you can do a lot of animations, take you know, take inspiration from construction simulator, like how those buckets fill up and how those kind of react and look. You know, take a lot of inspiration. Go out there and play them. See how they work. See how they tinker. Go in and try to try stuff out, right? You know, like go go around and take a look. I do agree. I do, I do agree that that bulk mode is too basic and needs to be next. That's not even close to looking like a next gen game, right? But that still destroys the ball mode just with how the handles and the game works and things like that, right? I don't mind the balls. No, no, dude. I don't mind them balls. Yep, I'm not. For me, like I was like trying to get to say is I, I just want the I'd rather see something. If it's everything's just getting changed in concept, it just make it generic right off the bat, you know, but like, okay, this is just a placeholder. We're just trying to get the basic coding down and then we'll make and add all the fluff later. You know what I mean? Like if you go back and watch some of my older stuff, I, how many times do I say? I guarantee you this is not going to be the last dirt update. We'll probably have a hundred more of them in the next two years and look what's happened. And now here we are with a new version and I'm sure we'll all play the shit out of that. And then eventually Christian will be like, you know what? Mm, I can improve on that. I can make it even better. And I'm sure he'll probably will do that with about 90% of this game at the moment, right? Over the next couple of years and hell yeah. Cause that is a, that's good, right? always improve and always try to make things better while he's learning and you know because it's it, he is learning right like everybody learns you don't ever stop learning that's good i'm like i said i'm happy with that man i'm happy to see him work it's good it's good that we're getting a new version of dirt that's exciting exciting was scary because if it's worse than, than bulk it's gonna be sad looks like i'll just be building for a while <laughs> Here's multiplayer, boys. Dirt sucks, damn it. Rip. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerds. <laughs> no. <laughs> That'd be horrible, dude. Christian did say the new dirt models is way more like he wanted in the next gens. Sometimes you have a vision for things, but you can't really articulate how you want to say it's going to work. Right. And I feel like, I feel like that's a lot of what he does is he, he has these ideas, but he doesn't know how to really put them out to show people and tell way later and stuff like that. And because it's really hard, to, like, like me, when I'm building these projects, you guys are like, okay, dude, you could tell us all the time, but until we see it, it doesn't really effing matter, bro. <laughs> like, and I, I get it. Right. Like, 
sometimes i'm like oh yeah over here i'm gonna do this in like 300 hours and you guys like what 300 freaking hours are you shit damn it any more paint my huffing paint over here i'm uh, probably double clicking and losing paint whatever good thing it's cheap Yeah, it's it's good to see what he's doing though, man. I'm I'm excited, man. I'm really excited for it. I mean, ever generally every patch I've been excited. There was a couple duds that were kind of like meh, but generally majority of the updates for this last year have been pretty banging, man. Gonna go lay down for it, dude. Hey, Tattico, dude, rest your back, brother, man. Get a nice hot bath, stretch out, dude. Get some good hard stretching, even though it hurts. Trust me, I know all about bad backs, dude. I broke mine when I was younger. Good, healthy, proper stretching will help you out, man. Loosen those muscles, dude. Take care of yourself, man. I'll need a lot of black paint. I'll never be able to overbuy it. Yeah, I always, uh, people are like, but it hurts when I stretch, dude. It's like, yeah, but when, when it comes to your back, you know what the weird thing is? When it comes to backs, the more you hurt, as long as you're stretching properly, proper stretching, guys, proper. Remember, I'm not a doctor. There's a disclaimer. But from what I, my experience with all the, the, the back injury that I sustained when I was younger in football, breaking, crushing some, some some stuff back there, not good. Couldn't walk for like three to six months. Proper stretching is... Proper stretching to the point is a really good thing. It really is. That's what saved my ass. And it still does to this day. Like pinched nerves, things like that. Proper stretching, getting a good massage, going to the right chiropractor, and um, getting taking care of yourself. If it ain't working, get it fixed. If you're not if you're not getting the results you want, there is a result that you can get. You can get results. I I you know people tell me all the time it's un it's unfixable. It's it's not fixable. I can never fix it. There's never end. It's doom. Don't give up. Don't give up, man. You know, I gave up at one point on my back, dude. I'm not going to lie. I gave up. I was like, it's never going to change. Never going to get better. It's always going to hurt. The rest of my life, I'm just doomed. Right? No. Stretch. Relax. Take care of your back. Even if you're doing good, that's when you need to stretch every day as well. Getting up and stretching. Um, you know, is something I do every day when I get out of bed. I get out of bed and just do basic stretching, just sitting on the side of my bed real quick, and boom, get up and go. Like, I can tell when I haven't been stretching in the right area because my back will start to tense up in certain ways. I'm not supposed to. I have a horrible back. But I feel you, dudes. I get you. I get it. Oh, man, brokenness. Bruh. I'm losing the bedtime war. Because you didn't come in there sneaky stealthy. What it is. Okay. Take a look. Go to Hidden World. Connect the drone. Perfect. Take it. That's going to be a lot of line work. Be one unhappy split. <laughs> That's going to be one unhappy split. <laughs> like I put all the lines in. But it definitely is transforming this area. That area, I need to, I need to deal with that. Whoa, sunflower. Grab shovel. Do some rough. Hey, you Amanda? One sec. Catch a break at something.
Girls are just in there fighting today, man. Holy cow. Irritated kitties. Ow. Okay. Actually, you know what? I need to push back even further and then... Hmm. Well, I'm going to drop coal today. I'll do that another day, but I do need to, I do need to push this down. Obviously not the grade that I need, so I was trying to kind of feather this out. A lot of blocks to place and paint, so as I said, I got to drive up this still. That's all right. I'm not going to do the painting today, and I can't do the roof yet. I said, just get the blocks in. Getting the blocks, isn't, blocks in there. Getting the, the asphalt in. Come on. Way line. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Okay. All right. So I can do all of this to where it fades in. And then I have to, I can't do this area here because that's all going to be coal. Wherever it's angled, right? So I'll ang for it's a the it's a slope, right? So wherever it comes to a slope, and then I'll put the the stuff in here, like this, all the way down here, all around this building, and over here, and then slope in, right? And then fill all this in up here in this flat part, and uh, make the curbs, things like that, right? So, and then wherever I'm not doing that, I'll put the coal because you know you can't have these with slopes. Yeah, we got a lot of spikes left around here, but that's that's good enough. It's close enough. All right, let's take a look here. One second. Let's see what's going on in the world today. Down any crazy anything I'm missing here, dudes? That uh, YouTube being stupid. I'm trying to spam you guys with shit. Let's see. Check something here real quick, guys. Oh, okay. Um... I'm just checking us up here. I'm back. Oh, all right. <laughs> Never broke a bone playing football, rugby, on a concussion or two. Yeah, a couple concussions here too as well. Probably what my problem is. All right, let's see. A line right there in that thing? Oh, whoa, whoa. oh, see the shovel on the wall? Watch. See that? Do you see that little line that it makes? Look at that. The hell, you guys seen it? Nope, I guess not. You're just seeing like a weird shadow uh, effect on my, that my monitor is showing. Ready? <laughs> I don't think it's on the wall up there. It's tripping me out. All right. Stop running around with the shovel in here, buddy. Let's see what we have here today. Uh, let's see. We'll probably play until Dopey comes back here soon. She probably won't be too, too long. Let's see. 
Crazy how fast time flies. Let's take a look. So, oh, back in the building. Sorry, no, I'm just running around doing nothing. Kind of like, what the hell are you doing, bro? I got to go in and check my gold. All right, so all of these were filled up, right? <laughs> Randy must be like super delayed. Randy, are you delayed or are you in real time? I told you guys I got money saved up. Like you remember all that dirt I was processing? Yeah. Oh, I think, I think he did the test, did the test. Yeah. 300 is, it, de it depends on a lot of things. So now that we can have fully enclosed systems, 300 is not as bad as, the, as it was because the issue that was causing a lot of lag is when you drop onto a belt and then that belt drops onto another belt would make the issue twice as bad. So 15 minutes for 300. Because if you're doing the half blast or not, well, 300 placed every square is technically overkill. So you're not making as many voxels. So if you did 300, but spaced out is it, it's, is worse because half of the blast of the second one. And then on the next row over, you're still not, you're not deleting as much if you know what I mean by the pattern. So it's actually better. It's actually to get more lag. Let me know since we're to get more lag, you would technically want to space them out every other space and then go over and every other. So when your one hits, it blasts the most amount that it can. Uh, because the when one goes off, if the next one that goes off, it's only blasting half of the square, right? So if you place them around separately, it can get even worse, like every other. Like every other every other square gives you it gives you a higher chance at lag, more voxels created, right? More voxels per explosion, I guess is the best way to put it. These one. And Damn, I am stacked and packed up in here. Woo! A lot of gold. Yeah, Randy must be like delayed or something. That, that, that. With more voxels per voxel. <laughs> yeah, the the balls aren't even really technically voxel, right? Like that's what the funny thing is. Okay, we're clearing them out. We're clearing them out. I'm trying to see how much gold I got. Okay. He's delayed because of the blasting. He's he delayed his his whole world, the whole universe got delayed. Am I still lagging? Yes, you're lagging in real life. Man, that is a lot. And 1.4 million per stack. What? Honey. Oh, this damn getting built. Mm, they getting built. I'm a little hoarder, you know. <laughs> Everyone all thinking I'm poor, and they just bust out almost twenty million clean out. <laughs> it's like I'm poor. I'm just, it's all just sitting there in some bucket somewhere. 
think you need more gold? I actually do. Sadly. A lot more. That's the end of the building. That is the issue. You have to smelt all this now. Okay, I need to commit to the dam, all right? And the only way I'm going to be able to commit to this dam project, this dam, is I need to buy blocks, all right? I need to buy blocks. Okay, we've been farming all this shit. There's no taxes anymore. I need to commit to blocks, all right? I just used up a ton of blocks today. I need to buy and commit the blocks. Just build the damn thing. Listen up, damn it. <laughs> the only way we're going to get this build done is if we just buy damn blocks. Hard earned money. Yeah, still process more, but this will be a wicked amount of stuff I'm able to build with this. Full send. taxes yeah and I gotta save the other pieces for the decorative pieces right and I don't know how many I need of those so I have to do the math once I build one full pillar but we got 3,000 blocks to play with now <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is what happens when you don't get bedrock you get wrecked get wrecked noob oh man closing that door Good game. Good game. Uh, you know what? We're not done yet today. Can't jump up there. Hey, listen up here, drone. Okay. Rudge. Here for my character to get on. Not enough? No, it's not even anywhere close. Come on, man. Let me ride it. Take me over here. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We're going to need a lot. But you, like you guys said, I don't have to build it. I don't have to build inside. It's just the core that I'm building. So get back. I don't like try to pull the rest of my hair. You need got my floors. got to have a layer of
Can you top gun those drones? Yeah, Tiny Tom Cruise gets to top speed faster. Tell us me, world. How you doing, man? Just chillaxing, playing some out of ore, building the dam. Okay. Now that I actually can uh, see what's going on here, we have a little place to stand on here. Let's take this 3,000 blocks. A tiny Tom Cruise. Keep waiting on a ride. They keep canceling on you. Bunch of buttholes. Good losers. What I do is now they have something to stand on. Build up the bottom row first. And uh, once I get this, I have something to stand on. And most, some of these blocks, most of these blocks I'll get back because I just need to put them in as a, uh, a placeholder or something to snap to later when I build the decorative pieces on the front of the dam. Oops. So we're not jacking our shit up too much. Here, bro. Close. And then let's go ahead and blast. I am blocked by a lot of this stuff. Without the explosives. Oh, need some more explosives. Yeah, at least it's nice. It's actually really cold and I need to turn the fan off in this window, man. Holy crap, it's turned this room into an iceberg. It's cold. Holy. Burr. Fingers on them. Hold. This. Do a little bit of wall shaving here. Now that'll all be hidden. Anything that's proud. Oops. Plunger out. Detonator. Don't want to bring home an ice cap? Yeah, I'll take an ice cap. I will take one. I should be able to walk. Oh no, trap myself in a hole. No. 
no, no. Oh god, watch out. If you have seizures, dudes, please do not look at my screen enough. That is almighty flashy. I won the war. I won the war, he says. How do you build the dam? Walk backwards and spam. Make sure you're in snap mode. Damn it. Wrap yourself in cubby hole. Last moment, he realized. That uh, what? Okay, no. Phew, it's a shadow. I thought I was made it had a gap there. Oh man. Damn, bro. It's warm. 94. I can suck my ass. That is warm. dude I'm either, a, I'm either a genius or an idiot. And now I have a conveyor fed loading tower for trucks. Like an actual one that holds uh, blocky balls. Yeah, that's uh, what we call a stacker feeder. Pretty much in a sense. All right, so you stack them up. You can, you can load them up and then load into the trucks. And that's what you mean. What you're talking about? Same page or no? Probably not. I'm probably not. More than like fun. Oh wait, I gotta go this. Oh, sh here. I gotta go. I gotta go down to make sure I'm in the right alignment here. Go up my freaking janky Mario stairs. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Am I? Line there for. Oh, just not a conveyor into a truck. Yeah, you can, you can, um, I've seen people do. Not sure. Does the, uh, stacker slash feeder despawn, despawn them? So any, you have a chance of always despawning material. If it stays on a, if it stays on a surface for too long, right? If it stays on a surface for too long, you always run the risk of it despawning. Always. Like you can, it's, it's a very, it, it actually be a very high rate. 
So if you build something like the balls are bouncing down and and uh, stuff like that, they have a chance at despawning. So I've seen people dump them into a tower and it's kind of like a Plinko effect. But you do lose a high rate of uh, material being randomly spawned into the block. So I actually need to do just trying to make sure I'm at the right height. So I guess I had one over here. Shit. Oops. If that makes sense. Because yeah, they don't they they will they will delete. Look, look at the um Look at the, uh, what's it called? The, like a hopper, build a hopper and you dump a scoop on it. You'll notice that they'll delete on the backboards. That's why a lot of us stopped using angled roof pieces because we were noticing like 10 to 15% of our scoop was not making it into the hopper. So we actually use straighter walls. That way they can, they're more trying to go down versus sitting on an angle. So a ball, a ball not in motion will tend to despawn after a certain period of time. OSHA run. Yeah, we're, we've skipped the mine inspector phase, and we're uh, over speed here. But by all means, it's still fun to do, so have fun playing with it. You know what I mean? Have fun. Okay, this is the point where I needed it earlier. But I was just being dumb, apparently. So now I gotta delete that. Good job, dummy. Don't fall off the platform. Don't fall off the platform. Yeah, not much, Smitty, dude. What you up to, buddy? So we're saying, in other words, I'm an idiot. No. You just, if you just didn't know, you just don't know. Doesn't mean you're an idiot. You just don't know. It's okay. Not very many people do. Not very many people think actually watch what the balls actually do. They, a lot of people think that there is like no deletion; they just slide down infinitely. But now, when they when they when they when they stop, they have a chance to decay. That's why I was telling Christian he needs to build. Um, he needs to give us pieces that will not let them decay. But then again, if he was building a whole new gen dirt that may not use the balls at all and there's is there really reason to do that right because he can change whether or not they decay or how long they decay or when they hit a piece of material right at one point the blocks would never decay right they would just I mean, the, the, the balls on the blocks would never decay. He's, he's uh, played with that a few different times. You guys like my janky scaffolding? It gets it done, I tell you that much. This type of building is really good. 
This is the method I use for making gigantic walls really fast. Especially with these big blocks. The one thing I wish that these big blocks could do is you can place them like how you place the these. Right, see how it has a snapping point on the top? I wish the big blocks you could do that too when you came out closer to the edge. Fortunately, no. You don't like balls that smell or decay. You know, nobody likes stinky balls. Right. I'm not gonna say nobody. I mean, some people might actually like stinky balls. He just say that. Are you talking about stinky balls right now? Seriously? Yeah, I mean, who the hell is stinky balls? It'd be a real weirdo to like stinky balls. I'm sure my neighbors love my conversations. Nope, there's a back here. Yes, there is. Right down. It's off. Dangerous. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's dangerous here. I'm going for a fall. Easier to speed run that. Damn. Okay, hold. I gotta close my window. My hands are freezing right now. Oh, my hands are freezing. Holy. All that cold air just started getting way colder since the sun started going down. That's cold. Holy cow. Watching you place blocks on mushrooms would be a trip. high up here dudes
out here. Dopey was outside the door, just kicking the door with her foot, and she's like, let me in, my hands are full. And I'm like, what the hell's that sound? <laughs> let me in. <laughs> let me in. Good dopey. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to I'm trying to mark shit out here in my in my head here. And now it's like, huh? What is he doing right now? He's not talking, just staring around the dirt, just poking at things. Yes, that is absolutely what you're saying here. I'm doodling in my brain. You know what I mean? Alright, where'd my drone go? Where'd my magical righty righty drone go? Come here, drone. I wish I could like have a whistle that would just call my drone. I'm coming to get you, drone. I'm coming to get you, buddy. Got me some donuts? Hell yeah, dude. Thank you. Oh, oh, I gotta have a donut. Get a stop at Timmy's and get some food. Oh my gosh. Honey crullers and apple fritters. Oh. Yes, I'm taking a donut break. Captain? AK, they didn't do it.
So like it'll take all day to fill your prescription then you get there and it's not filled and then it takes them 20 minutes it's like couldn't you just build it like nine hours ago right oh interesting that that spray thing is way too strong to have on my desk It's making me like an ice burn. Oh, yeah, it's just an ice burn. Hey. I almost just kicked it across the house. She has this air freshener that goes off like motion. It's been just pwning me every time it goes off. She had it just sitting on my desk. And don't you just have to call them for like those little appointments since you already had it done? Doctor, or you just to get them? Okay. That's good. That's nice. I do like the video. Chat's dead anyways. I'm just eating donuts. <laughs> Yesterday was hopping. Today it's like everyone's asleep. That's okay. That's all right. I'm not doing anything hardcore right now, anyways. Until I started later, nobody thought I was going to stream today. Nobody thought I died or something again. Like, oh, we saw a split for one day. Probably won't see him for another week now. I know all you nerds are digging. Actually, when you left, Luna, I put her down, screamed at me, and then she ran to the living room and went and fell asleep. And, oh, and then they started fighting about a couple times. They wake up and duke it out and knock shit around and then fall back asleep. That's about right. Banner Lords is April 26th for you? Yep. I think it's, I'm not think it's the same day for us, too. Okay, what am I? What do I got now? Oh, that's right. I was, I was flying over it, and I got distracted by donuts. Onward. Oh yeah, I think I'll enjoy it too. I agree. Going up. Man, well, that's nice to see. They're right. Delivery. Right now, do I let to me think? Maybe. 
Oh, I definitely think I'll be joining that for sure. Snap one. Sure, let's try. Let's try today. Well, what's the worst that can happen? I have a little bit of practice. Matt's chilling today. Let's try. Our hand at... In. It's long. Curved. Or, listen, we're not trying to curve it out like we're trying to curve a nice, long, gradual curve, buddy. That's looking good. Little bit. I have much more of a curve. I should be able to align it and then tilt it a little bit more time. I'm going to go out about 50, 60 blocks. Can you not snap in place anymore? Yeah, you can, except for the thing is I'm trying to get a curve, right? So I'm trying to, and that's still not right. I went too straight right here. I'm trying to get a slight curve, but free mode, free mode, you, 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 it won't snap anymore to anything. They removed it. So, which is amazing, but snap mode, see, it will snap like that, right? That's not what we're going for though. We're going for a curvature here. And then, then once I get the curve in, then I can snap all the bottom blocks going down and fill in. And it'll then that'll be curved below me, right? So, trying to do a nice gradual curve into that mountainside over there. Yeah. So, so they, yeah. See how we snap now, and then there's also uh, grid mode, which grid will snap to the grid of the world, right? And then now. Free mode does not snap to anything at all, which is fucking amazing because it allows us to do things like this, right? Like well, we weren't able to do this before because it we couldn't free place without it snapping next to something. Such a pain in the dick. The dick. <laughs> Actually, gonna delete these last few because it was I'm off a little bit. Okay, so that we're doing okay. I just need to. Take a couple out and then kind of keep doing the curvature. I guess I don't, I need to be way over there, but I need the curve to just look right. And this, this is the dick, the dick of the day. These are absolutely brutal to get in. I do the alignment like this. I should start being able to walk it in faster here. I just do my mouse a little bit at a time. One movement. I'm just I slowed my DPI down on my mouse. One out. 
Yeah, let's make sure we line it up. Just a couple slices. Make sure it's just fading through the deck layer. Down. The, the what I'm trying to look for is I'm trying to look for the little extra notch on the right hand side, not on the on the outer, because that'll that will be the gap in the outer. I want to I don't mind a gap on the or the, the overlap on the inner, because that's going to be buried and hidden. But I don't want a gap on the outside of the structure wall, right? So we'll go in and over, and I'll make sure that the very left side of this block is not having a gap, right? So curve go in and make sure I step up a little bit I'd rather see the block on the side rotate a little bit more a gap no gap yo what's up enduro Thank you much for that raid, brother. Hopefully you guys had a great stream. If you guys don't know who Enduro is, make sure you guys go over and give that guy a follow. We've been, we were raiding him quite a few few often there. Good to see uh, you guys playing. Hopefully you guys did well, raiders. Hopefully he was doing good. Was he entertaining you? Did he build something good? Fantastic. What I'm doing right now is I'm trying to, well, I'm trying to put a curve to something. Let's go on a little bit of a path. Show you guys what we did. Let's show you our happy trail. Let's take a mind-numbingly break from the damn project. Okay, that's a nice that's a nice curve. See that? That's gonna look nice. Let's go hop on our magical flying carpet here and take a take a flight. Show you guys what's up. Okay, right, so that yeah, that curve will work for me. I'll take I'll take it. It's not gonna look perfect because it's hard to kind of get them like I could sit here for ten hours trying to make that thing perfect. Not happening. <laughs> not happening but well, that needs to be curved off into that mountain range yep anybody that's new hasn't seen for a while i've been back and working on the dam and doing now trying to finish this thing off we've got a lot of money i got a lot of money in blocks saved up what about 10 million in blocks let's see here take you guys over to the uh nature preserve you guys give, give you guys a little flyby kind of keep you up what's going on in the project most of you guys know what's going on. Most of you guys have been watching a lot of other, the other creators and myself as well, like Enduro and, and Tanico and everybody like that going this last, like, you know, what, three to five months. Been going pretty well. But uh, just recently, I did a big deco addition to uh, my map. We are sitting at about 150,000 water blocks placed. And I got a little marina and stuff like that now, like a little point, walkways, boardwalks. And I, you know, just kind of need a little, didn't need to do a little bit of a decorate, decoing, right? It had been a little while since I did deco since the showcase. And I figured it'd be kind of cool to put in a, um, a marina and kind of liven up the place a little bit. Oh, and on top of doing the big dam project and um, stuff like that, you know, I figured it would look, it would be fun to do something different. Uh, let's see on YouTube. Hopefully we uh, are getting some curved. It'd be nice to get some curved blocks. I'll talk to Christian about it possibly and see if um, maybe could that could be something in the works. Getting some arched blocks or curved blocks or things like that to make life a little easier and make the world seem to... I mean, everything's so square. We need some rounded things or some, be we need some beveled edges or things like that. But definitely we need some different shapes to play with. And some pillars would be nice. You know, things like that would be really good. Yep, so this is my last little deco. I took a little bit of a week off and had some things at work and just kind of did a little bit of playing with some of this stuff here. What's up, Carmen? What's up, guys? Yeah, man, hope you had a good stream, dude. You had a good stream. Thanks for the raid, too, by the way. Appreciate that, man. Yep, built all this finally, got it all tied in, got it all decoed, got the town connected. Um, I'll put the bridges in. Little footpaths, walkways, like I said, walkways, boardwalks. Finally, finally tied this part of my project into a deco project. And then I got a nice little uh, 
a dredge over there. Just to kind of tease people a little bit. <laughs> I always like to put things in where people are like, is that actually something? Where, where did we get that in the game? You don't. Teasing you guys. Yeah, I built a little dredge. And we'll give it a flight over there. How oh, things have changed since I've been gone. Yep, dude, it's been... Uh, the project is going crazy. How you doing, Gad? Yeah, so I built a little uh, mock dredge just to kind of tease people and see if they could uh, see if they would message message Christian to see if uh, when the dredge is getting when a dredge is getting added, figure would uh, spice it up a little bit. Damn it! I got an ice block. Damn straw. Damn it, Greta. Hey, plastic paper straws suck, man. Been a very rough 45 days, bro. Dude, my dude. Sorry to hear that, man. See how long it takes to fly over here with a drone? That's how big this this is. 150k, 160k water blocks-ish. I lost count. Definitely over, over 150k, though. Yeah, so a little dredge like this. This is something that I would, would would really like to see Christian put something like this in the game. You know, obviously better modeled and stuff, right? But I would like to see a dredge or even... I think one thing I would like to see the game have is... Well, be... Oh, I guess I can just do one other thing. I guess I could have done this earlier. Let me just go to this. I would like to see... I'd like to see a a dredge a p like say we had these deco blocks right or eventually down the road obviously he'd have to do it without deco blocks if he wanted to put a dredge in you'd have to have the deco blocks to do it the way i'm going to describe it it would be nice to have barge pieces that we could snap together that would work and they would always be just half submerged like this in the in the block and then we could just drive it around on top of these blocks and then just take the excavator arm right take the excavator and make it to where it doesn't collide with this layer, right? And then just dig down straight through it and scoop and pull and dump. Congratulations, a dredge, right? But, um, because in, in real, in real life, it's, you don't really see what you're digging, right? In a dredge like this style, this style of dredge, you know, like they don't see what they're digging. They're just digging down, feeling for dirt. Okay, cool. I got a scoop. You know, they take their scoop and they're like, gotcha. All right, gonna come in here and dump into the feeder, into the wash plant, you know? Boom, little wash plant on the deck, little cabin. GG, that's a dredge. But yeah, it'd be really cool to see something like this added to the game where we could drive around and dredge up stuff on the thing. I don't think players are asking for much. It'd be nice, it'd be kind of cool to see something like this. But yeah, I built this kind of as a, uh, a troll. I guess I was... Oh, gosh. Oh, no. We're stuck in the ground. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so that'd be... That'd be I would like to see something like that. I, I, I really would. I'd like to see some some water planes that we can kind of float around on or even drive. They don't have to... They don't have, there doesn't have to be waves. It doesn't have to be anything really fancy. Maybe just a bucket splash. Maybe a bucket splash when we put the bucket into the water. Like a little splash and like a sound. Like... Whoosh. And then when you pull it up, maybe seeing some dripping water while you're going over to dump it into the uh, the hopper. No. Nope. Want to drop a save? Yes, yeah, true. I will drop a save. Something like that. That'd be really cool. I'd like to see a dredge be finally added to a game. Save. Things are looking up though. Other than being on probation now. Um, do I even want to ask why you're on probation? It's like, I've been, I was wondering where you went, bro. I was like, did, did he just fall off the page? Did he get arrested? <laughs> I was like, I guess I was actually right, dude. I'm not asking, bro. <laughs> I actually said that in Discord. I was like, where'd Gad go? He was here like every day hanging out. Now all of a sudden he's gone. Did he get arrested? <laughs> Damn, dude. I 
Aha, I got gotcha. you. All right, so let's get back to what I was doing all the way across over there. Oh, I guess I gotta run on foot. I need to put another. I need to put another vehicle over there. I need to buy a truck. Road on the other side of the dam. But I did get the walls up today in here, and I did get the flooring finally put in. That was about five million dollars. Then I spent another. Seven million on on uh, blocks to finish out some of the main blocking here. So I have made up my mind, guys. I am gonna put some steel inserts in here. I'm gonna put some steel inserts just for visual when you're looking at the dam, so it's not just all one solid color. I'm gonna put some inserts in here that are painted. So it has a, a certain look to it. So you can, it pops out a little bit more. A couple accenting colors. So that way it can, it, it, it'll, it'll make it look not as just all concrete, even though a lot of it's concrete. So I want to kind of change it up a little bit in a certain, certain effect. Okay. So I was also thinking about rounding these corners. Right, and then and then when I round, once I get the corner rounded in, it's it, I'm I'm right on it. Then I'm thinking about possibly deleting these corners and doing the round, but then it rounds up here, and then it goes out there, and then it rounds off into the mountain, on the top piece. That's one thing I was also thinking about altering, but we'll see how time is because time's not in our favor anymore. I'm out in 15 minutes for cards. I feel you, dude. I'm going to try to get more of this corner here placed and that's what's going on with the project if you guys haven't seen it in a little bit in a hot minute listen this tree is really getting in my way Hard to line this up. Need to cut down some trees. There's a rush and I need to trim the bush. Yes, I know. Slow. Like, what is he really just watching one block? Yes. Yeah, you guys don't even want to know how much I got to fill in now. You know, the more this thing curves, the more I'm thinking I should have curved it more. <laughs> oh, man. Goodness sakes. I'm gonna yeet myself off of here. You know what? Before I do anything, Now the thing about this, this is way harder to snap because oh. I want to snap very easily. Shit. Bitch. 
Once you get once you get one in, it goes a little easier. Come on, dude. Lit I have to replace the tops right here like this, right? There we never not what I want to snap to. See, this would mess me up. If I do this, that'll mess me up. So I gotta get these replaced. That thankfully that worked. Never mind. Nope, you will fall off. Okay. It can't snap to this. That'll throw my line off. Got to do this. This. Come in here and look at this. This will give me an idea how it's actually going to look. Right? And I can snap down here. Is the 700 excavator any good? Yeah, 700 the 700 is not bad. Okay. Now let's get a drone and take a look at this thing here. Let's see what we got. Right, okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna be nice. Okay. That's what we're talking about right there. What we... What am I making? I am making a massive double tiered um, dam. That's what I'm making. And I've been digging all this out kind of realistically and stuff like that. And I'm now putting in a lot of the brickwork and stuff like that that I've been saving up for for all these pieces and spending millions and millions of dollars and grinding for hundreds of hours. That's where I'm at right now. I got all the decorations and stuff like that done for the, the back side of the dam. All decoed. Now I just have to save up and start building the blocks and put all the intricacy in. So right now I'm actually building this side of this retaining wall that's going to be curved into the mountainside. And then I'm going to eventually doze all this whole mountain to fill it all in. Make a big, giant, flat area to build another project on. Another road. If the save behaves itself. So right now I'm just trying to get all this line work in and uh, seeing how it's going to look. Kind of like slowly, slowly seeing here. It's gonna, I think it's going to look good. That wall's going to look nice. Continue the top brick. See, I don't mind that that one's a lot lower. It'll just fill in. It's okay because we'll just blend it right into the ground. I don't mind these lines. Like I said, our rule is, does it look good? It doesn't look good from 100. You know, 100, 100 something feet away, does it look good? And that's what we're going for. You know what I mean? That's what we're going for. We're going for, does it look good in a hundred? So I'm starting with the top line. And when you start with this top row, these are easier, these are easier to place in front of you than the big bricks. So if these are snapped into the way you want them, anything you snap into it, they won't be in line as well. So if I snap this on top of this brick here, like that, right? I'm not snapping to this one because I'm still trying to curve it. Oop, not, not like that either. I'm trying to snap it to floor pieces so that way when i go down it'll continue the same same thing right so now instead of looking at this this would be a no-no looking at this block we'll snap it to this blocks area so i want to look at this block up here and snap this way okay like this
That way I know it's going vertically. All right. So even though there's lines, it's okay. There's li there's lines on the back side, but now we need to check the other side too to see how that's looking. We don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves and then it looks like complete butthole. All right, we don't want that. Oh, that's not the right drawing. This one. Yep, see, on the outside, no lines. It's only on the inside, and that's what we're trying to cover. All right. This out the inside will be filled material. You see a little bit of lines in there, but it does not look bad from that curve. See this curve out here? On the outside. I just can't wait to see the end results. Yeah, it's I know it's a long time, but it's been a lot, but I gotta put the pedal down. I gotta get this thing rolling. This this thing has gotta be built and it's gonna be massive. Millions and millions of dollars in game. And I'm on a tight deadline here because of the uh upcoming patches and stuff like that. So I might just have to kick it into afterburners and um just start decoing and I might have to pull the nukes out, boys. I don't know. I don't want to. But I'd rather get the project done before the next coming big giant everything that's coming out than not have it done and sitting there wishing I had it done. So I don't know. I don't know how pissed off you guys would be if I all of a sudden had to turn it off and turn off turn I mean turn off the viewer challenge in a sense. Still continue to build on this save, but turn the viewer challenge off and just let me go loose. You know? But I'll keep pushing as far as I can, as much as I can, right? So uh, that's actually looking really nice. Gonna give me the appeal that I'm looking for. That, that mountain's gonna be tough to doze, I'll tell you that much. Ooh, it's gonna be brutal. That might be a uh, that might be, and we don't fill it in. I block it in. You know what I mean? It might be. Oh, God damn it. Come on, bro. Get back up there. We're going to fall down a lot. <laughs> Once I get the curve in, though, I can block it in. If I can block it in with floor tiles and save myself 80 hours of dozing, I might have to take that route. Like I said, some of the things I might have to go, I might have to start going, take cutting back a little bit. I know you guys want to see it done. A jetpack would come in handy. Okay, so the thing is, is I want to make sure I keep curving. So let's go ahead and keep doing free build. Bring it up. As long as we see a little bit of a variation here. What's up, Sax? What's up, Joel? What's up, guys? I see a little bit. I just tried to do a couple ticks over on the mouse and line it up. Come on, I know I know we're curving. <laughs> yeah, jetpack would definitely come in handy. Flying mode would be nice. Like, so soon you're just doing big crazy stuff, right? Man, I might hit that other mountain range over there. I might, I might actually hit that other range. That's gonna make me cry.
That's way too much of an angle. Back off. This shit takes a lot of precision. Man, I'll tell you that much. I'll be out. I'm out. I'll be back tomorrow. Not tomorrow. All right, man. Take it easy, RG. Yeah, I know this is very, very, like, hardcore riveting content. <laughs> no, I'm just messing. Yeah, this stuff is like... Watch it paint dry. What are you doing, dude? Um, Placing blocks very slowly. Man, I need to use my better mouse. Killing me. Just free handing this in right now, so. Let's see, I'm probably going to be, yeah, probably over there somewhere. That is a way wicked retaining, a wicked wall. Holy crap, but I do need as much space as I can get over here. Actually, you know what? I don't need to doze all of that. A lot of this will be cement because of the project that I'm building. The project for season five. Let me think about it. Do I need all that filled in or do I just need the top smashed off? Don't need to fill that all. I'll push as much as I can this way because it'll be fun to use the dozer. But do I really need to fill it all in? No. So I think what I'll end up doing is once I get the curvature in, I'll fill in as much as I can with blocks this way up against the mountain. Then I'll doze that all down to the point where then I'll place the blocks once I run out of dirt to doze. Because that mountain's got to come down. It's got to get pushed over here. But I need as much area over here to work with because the project that I'll be doing, which I'm not talking about, Shane knows what it is. No? It'll be absolutely insane. Size and scale of it. So, you guys think this is big. We got that's going. I hate doing these curves, but man. Arch, this tree is right in my way. I don't think I even ha oh, you have an axe. I don't even think I have an axe. Put this thing down. Come here, tree. Yeet. Sky logging. Let's go. Let's go. Sky logging. Let's, let's do it up. Hey, Shane, take it easy, brother. Have fun today, dude. Have fun, man.
poodle. How are they going on about in chat over there? Watch me place these. <laughs> Dude, my eyeballs are about to burn out of their skull already. Too far away from the tree. What's up, tree? Listen, tree. Oh my gosh, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh my gosh. Those guys hooting and hollering about in Discord. Oh. No. All I hear is extreme farting and talking really loud. Ooh, it's gonna be right in there. Man, that it's not looking bad though, right guys? Not looking too bad. Plants aren't missing. That one's a little shit though. Okay though. Alright, I'm not not let's not O C D it too much. Scary up here.
You know what? And I might be able to just go straight right now if you're from there. I think I am actually going right now. Okay, just because I know I need to. You already know where I'm going to go with this. Right? No, no, I, I need to keep going straight. Right into the mountain. What am I doing? Stop giving yourself more work, bro. This isn't candy cane lane, okay? Come on, dude. What are you doing? Trying to give yourself more work when you're trying to hurry up this project? Yeah, that's a good job, man. What you thinking? Tree. Some stumposaurus. Yay? Nay? How's it looking? How'd that come out? How you doing over there, girl? What'd you get for booze? Let's do a little bit of brickwork here. How it really turned out. steps up a little bit that's all right kind of the illusion i'm going for here in grid mode aim it at these blocks here and like i was saying we'll aim it at the next step here Let's go ahead and drive the drone. I mean, that's not bad. That's really not bad for freehand placing a curve in over that big of a distance. I mean, yeah, it could, it's not perfect, but you know what I mean? Not bad for how long it took me to do it. Not too bad. Let's take a look at the outside from the... Uh... This drone. Oh, dude, it looks sick. <laughs> the outside, dude. Oh, man. Oh, my 
Yeah. Right. That's crazy. Okay. Good job, Jasmine. Build the scaffolding out a little bit more. Get some of this more bricked in. Free hand for the win, bro. Right, dude. And once I get these this row in, I'll come in and delete all the row and these little woods this wood structure. I have a nice height of the dam. Well, the dam, but the this just this retaining wall for this mountain, I guess. No, a lot of you guys were cracking to see how this was even going to happen, right? So, how are you going to do that, bro? How are you going to pull that off? I told you guys a long time ago I needed Christian to fix something. Right? I even said, remember I told you guys I was like, I need Christian to fix something before I can do what I want to do. And that was the free place. Shit needs to happen. I kind of was complaining a little bit on that build over there. But you know what? I mean, we, I'm so sick of this snapping in free mode. It makes no sense that we even have it like that. I mean, listen, I appreciate that, man, because it was, it didn't make any sense. Right? It didn't make any sense at all. Oh, I need to. Yeah, there's a slight incline from there to here, but I think that's going to kind of look kind of sick, actually. Definitely didn't intend that to happen, but it just kind of happened. so tedious man like i said i worry if you guys even care to see this stuff you know what i mean like do people really want to watch this or <laughs> you know what i mean do people really want to watch this Not watching as much as for the action with the creator. You like listening to me describe and talk about things? Yeah, bro. Holy yeah. getting. And like I was saying, doing this type of block placement, you want to go from top down. 
because you got to keep the the rows in line, right? I don't trust it. I'm dropping a save. <laughs> I don't trust it. I'm dropping a save. That's it. And I'm going to need a question, so I'll be right back in. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to use the restroom, I guess. I mean, there are some people that like watching paint dry. This is possibly a little bit more entertaining than watching paint dry. Awesome. I appreciate that. I mean, I guess if you want to watch somebody build a curved wall that's massive, I guess, hey, I guess you're learning something, right? Oh, are you kidding me right now? Don't worry, I'll get it on the next pass. Let's see, you know you did it right when you have that nice little accordion effect going on. Why are you yawning so much? What the flip, dude? Like, holy crap, dude. Eventually it'll straighten out and then it'll be like cake. I wanted to do all the time lapse, but man, I'm just gonna have to say F it right now because that's gonna really hold me back. Damn it, and damn it. I don't know what's causing all the crashing, but it could be the time lapse. It could be a lot of different things. So
just not nice and chill. Yeah, I gotta focus a little bit more. So yeah, it is a little harder for me to read chat and stuff, but it's definitely gotta just kind of chill and slowly. Like I said, it's kind of a slow process, but kind of has to be when you're trying to be somewhat precise, but not really. I'll delete that on the uh, the backside with the drone. Really, just want to see this wall get put in. Reminds you back of the Minecraft stuff. Yeah, well, we were kind of we had that discussion a little bit today in uh, Discord before stream about like how the crossover between this game and and Minecraft and stuff, you know. You know, people that play Minecraft are gen probably generally not into heavy equipment, you know? You never know. Breaking boundaries on the game, which really haven't been seen yet. Well, two, right? But, I mean, the save is absolutely massive. How much is it going to take, really, right? Any day, it could just be like, nope, save, don't load at all. It's just criticals. So that's all it does. So, hopefully, that doesn't happen. I think it's straight shot now. Once I know it's a straight shot, then I can... Oop, no, that's not a straight shot. Stop. Not do that. Don't get ahead of yourself, buddy. Still snap to the block. They're still curving. Ever so slightly. Now I think it's close to a straight shot, but let's just not be... Assuming. Right? Dave took a massive jump this last two weeks. Sorry, I did a lot of the deco over on the thing off stream, but sometimes I just need my, I just needed me time. Everything that was going on in life, you know what I mean? Just need a little me time. Hanging out and a couple of the guys helped do some stuff and yeah, just kind of needed to relax and just kind of chill and do a bunch of other stuff like off stream. Not just the save, just real life shit and stuff like that. What are you guys all doing over there, Dopey? Good yes. What are you doing? Are oh, you just into being dumb watching me stream? Okay. I'll be going too much longer here, Dopey. I just want to finish this wall and then... Did you get the rest of your stuff done today? Did you get the rest of that thing cleaned out? Oh. So that's all the stuff that you want to go to the thing? Awesome. Let's go ahead and get... Uh This is a straight line. These are just going to get deleted anyways, but that's okay. Because I need them for placements.
perfectly enjoying the 7,000. 7,000 has got a good build feel to it. 7,000 is, uh, yeah. Feels good. Where does it go straight? Where's the last? menacing that wall is absolutely menacing <laughs> holy shit dude here i have to follow this line here because of the curvature right it's the rule boys on the curve follow the bottom not the side Just make sure you don't hit the side here so you're in a straight line to get those weird extra lines and know which direction you're snapping from which way they were kind of in place when you're snapping in a row don't end up with any side lines i think i will but if we do it's not should look at that happening maybe, maybe it's not uh shouldn't that you can see it from this angle see them you can see them from this angle shouldn't be that's got it too okay good I'm just saying it should be uh, down. You can see them from certain angles. It's alright though. From a hundred.
Yeah. This distance leaf looks great, see? Can't even notice it. Beast. It's a long one. <laughs> yeah, I'm building a dam. Um, this is just a big giant retaining wall off of the dam. The dam's being built over here in this this area here. See, there's the diversion tunnel simulated right there. So I've done all this simulated so for for a certain most of the majority of it. Hey, John, dude, take it easy, buddy. Thank you much for those uh, gifted, bro. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking real good. Oh yeah, that's that's looking good. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Right? This is the front part of the dam. That's dam. That now that's sick. I can give that curvature, but down here, it's perfectly the way I need it. And then this part rounded out over there. Ooh. And you get these corners rounded. Oh. It's going to be like, go oh, damn. All right. Told you, everybody's building square shit. I want to be different. Round it. <laughs> right? Must be outside the box. Okay. So did I pull it off? Did I, did I make it look right over that big of a distance? Is it, is it, is it good enough or did it come out perfect for what, what I was working with? I think it looks good enough. I think, I think it, I think it's passable for what I need.
Thank goodness for no taxes in this game right now. You guys are badasses. I said I need I need to cook. I need to I need to torch off millions of dollars as fast as I can, then earn more money to do it again. Keep doing that, and we'll be done here soon. Gotta keep on trying. Okay, with whatever, I'm not too too hungry. Whatever, up you, dude. All I know is that fan in the window really helped, but damn, it got cold in here. Like that fan. Yeah, it got wicked cold. Again, it was only 55 outside, but then once the, once the sun started to go down, it was just pulling old ass air into this room. Which that's what we want it to do, right? Because in the summertime, it'll give us a lot of fresh air. Yeah, it'll be hot, but it'll give us a lot of fresh air. Which, you know. I'm looking for. see what I'm doing when you're in the way. craziest thing is is like think of this art damn it what the hell scaffolding too low here Let's go delete the upper stuff. Come down here and I'll make a new, uh, yeah, get rid of this stuff. We can't have it just floating here. So let's go get rid of it. Okay, that's what you want to do. Anything to watch tonight or? Jack, I've been watching Jack Re Reacher, or Reacher, I think it's just called. Sure, yeah. And there is a lot of cartoon violence in that. 
is so cheesy. But it's so fantastic. Shit. I'll have to do a drop down karate attack on that thing. Flying 360 no scope. Take that thing out. Dangerous. Crap everywhere. goal for the rest of the night is to get this finished and see what she looks like all completed like that that's that it is that i was worried about that i ain't gonna lie i was sweating bullets on that i was like thinking you know hmm how is that gonna turn out you know what i mean like i'm like i don't know i don't know if it's gonna look right in there. Yeah, you know, some of, like I said, some of them, I hate doing this shit on stream. It's like I feel like it's so mind numbing. Even if mind even if this brain farts me out, right? Like trying to be precise and I have to like it's hard for me to read chat when I'm trying to be precise. I'm like, I feel bad. <laughs> I'm like Oh dude. This is a long time in in making here. I'm doing it I even have a better idea and it'll make the next season even better mm. damn 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 how many blocks I guess was it was I up to like 4,000 something blocks now I'm down to like 11 1200 like that's crazy so I better hurry up and make some more money in the game right no, I think I think I have unsmelted gold. I think I have 
Quite a bit. I think I have at least six million, seven million in unsmelted gold. Not enough to get the project done, but that means I need to start another cut. I think I might make another wash plant and I might just make a wash plant down here. Start processing the gold for me. Like I said, I'm limited time. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta change some of the stuff up a little bit, guys. If I start hitting a wash plant down here, get these cuts done. I still want to mine. I still want to mine. I don't want to just go to full deco, but I am thinking about possibly building a wash plant down here well, and to finish out the rest of these cuts. I still got to go down like two more benches. So this bench and then one more and possibly a scraper. Oh, I might, you know, I'm building that plant up there, but I might actually take this ramp and push it down into here and then start eating this all out because I need to start building the second side of the dam. So second front part, front parts number two. You can see I'm in panic and frantic mode because of all the new shit that's coming, right? So. I do apologize if I have to cut some of that out, the hardness, right? Under a G in blocks, that's insane. Five thousand cement block. Okay. Well, five thousand almost. They used a lot for the floors. It was like almost nine hundred for the floor. done dudes Browns. Uh, look at that look at that line Ooh. boom look at that <laughs> Oh, man, dude. Insane. So nice.
Holy shit. happy with that oh i'm happy with that that that's nice that is looking good sorry one second i missed uh, mr chat there twitch if you're still there neil very first the beginning where you started out with the drone there's a block out um, where I first started with the drone back here? Uh, it should be all right. The missing stuff down here that I need to fill. That'll be the convert to the dam side, so. Even just a little bit of a block out, it's okay. Like, not too big of a deal, you know what I mean? If, as long as it's 100 by 100. It needs to go down a hell of a lot more. But this? Oh, I need to trim the top piece off. That piece is not supposed to be. It's supposed to go down a little bit more, and then that's supposed to be hugging that line. Down over there, that's going to drop down. I'm going to have to carve more of this out right here. Or carved out right here on this side. And this has got to all be dropped down to this point down here at the bottom of these blocks. So I got one, I got at least two fatty benches to cut out. Oh, the dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dirt needs to be... I'm not even anywhere close to the dirt. The dirt is uh, still a massive amount. I'm looking at least two days for this cut. And then another cut. This cut's even going to be even bigger because the cut's going to go all the way to here. But a lot of this is just dirt, so I don't need it. So I can just blast it. Get it out of there. That can be gone too. So this cut's not as big. This is all going to be... I have to shave this at a nice little angle to kind of keep it clean. And, well, I need to see... I need to see. I need to... Fine work. Right, there's still a lot of line work that needs to be done. I haven't quite got the full vision of what I'm doing. But I know I needed that wall had to be like that. That had to be there. Because right, that's the shape of the dam to hold back the mountain for Project 5. Season 5. Season 5, I would like to build up on top of that area. Right there. I need that to be flattened. Leveled in like I did over here. Because Season 5 will be built up on this big area here. see let me see now since that goes this way and this line's all connected so this right here i'm thinking about possibly doing the same thing see how that's matching right there i'm thinking about doing the pot since this line's right here i'm thinking about doing the same line out here like this that ends right here i'm thinking about doing the same fucking thing that would just make that would just make it absolutely insane, right? If I did that like that, copy that on this line right here. I kind of copied the same thing right here and then torched out everything in between here and then build the second dam arching like this off the main back dam back here and then have a water plateau in between and then it arches and drops down even further down to that level down there. Everything from that second dam and on Concrete in, angled in, all nicely. Make diversion. And then down here at the waist, out, come then and fill all that in down there. Water blocks, like that. That's what I'm kind of thinking in my head. If you can get what I mean by just kind of looking at it and shaking my camera with the drone. <laughs> so I have this big old plateau over here, and I have this big old plateau over here with building. Put another big fatty crane over here. Put a big fatty crane over here. Just make it look just like a monstrosity of fucking awesomeness. <laughs> right this we got the monster ass um thing back there 
well, all that area kind of deco it. I got, I'm going to have to put the tunnel in and that's going to come through here. I'm thinking about taking this line right here that goes along here, making the road go in like this and then around the dam and then into another tunnel and popping out the other side over there somewhere. And then season five will be built in this massive area right here on top of this hill where I'm going to flatten. So what I would need to do is I would need to run a line from that brick there straight over here. Actually, yeah, I would go, go from that line. I would snap into that line and come all the way this way with a set. So I know I'm symmetrical to a point. See, so I'm not going to be able to match the exact perfect curve on this line going to the right. But I would at least, at least make them stop over here somewhere. This one wouldn't be straight and flat. It would kind of be more lower. It'd be kind of roughly the same height, but I could then try to fill this in. But I don't like filling in that much dirt. You know what I mean? I don't. So I might curve it and then kind of go down and with the blocks and step it down. So it has a nice like curve where this one goes this way. This one will come this way and then blend it in the mountain over here at a lower angle. It won't be perfectly, but I would like to try to end it right here where the drone's at. Right, but a little further in, like come in this way a little bit like this. Right, and curve it and then kind of come down and end over here. I wonder where the drone's at. So it's, it'd be a, it wouldn't be as a drastic of a curve, but try to make it look a little bit more symmetrical in this whole area. Looking at it from the top view, right? Like, yeah, you know, this is all the way out here. Draw a line. If you could draw a line straight here, the curve would go like this. It'd match this outer line. Actually, that's an inner line. So inner line would be actually here. This one would curve this to this point if you drew a straight line, right? That should be this line right here. And because this is the outer line, it wouldn't be this line actually, because this is the inner, right? Well, no, that's just a retaining wall. Never mind. That is the line. What am I talking about? Fuck, that's the outer right here. Go actually out further to there. But this is the line, I believe. It is. Yeah, it'd be this one. It would be this one. This is just a retaining wall for the road going down because eventually this won't be here dig all this out all this has got to get dug out right here all this is going to get dug out doesn't have to get dug out all the way back here because there's going to be this is all going to be covered right i might not even have to dig all this out i might just bury it inside the build and only have to dig this out right here so we get lucky <laughs> that's why i would like to start building the dam and maybe maybe just build a new access road start building the second part of the dam and actually just get this effing thing start rocking it right another 20 million in building blocks and i could deco the whole front side of the back plate drop the tier down build the next arch and deco everything and then just can't cut this off here and get in here and just do all that work smash it out and get get it done man get all the water blocks placed season four completed you know like this whole area decoed, painted, asphalted, make it look good. Do a little bit more final decoing. Hey, take it easy so far, dude. Thanks for hanging out for so long, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah, the building looks good here today. Got got the uh, you know, simulated asphalt put in over here. Get this ramp tweaked out over the next probably couple days. Get this area finished. Make a nice little parking lot. Get put some dumpsters, deco. A little decoing, gonna fix this area up a little bit. Yeah, in get it moving. Get the top deck plate put in for the dam. Probably get the second part of the archway built on the back side over there on that side. Coming through with a road, I'll come through the blacktop like this out here, like a road going that way. So. Because if trucking's coming, I want a nice place to drive my trucks. You know what I mean? I don't want no bumpy ass broken roads. Suck. I want a nice scenic drive through my work site and 
you know, because you got to think that big giant road that I'm building over there is going to come through and go under this mountain and pop out over here, right? So the tunnel's going to pop out here. Hey, little town, wash plant, building facility, the truck can drive down here, unload, you know, coming back around, drive around, oh, over the dam, over this way, whoop, go that way, out of tunnel. Really nice, cool drive. All right, really nice. Try to make a nice scenic drive for the uh, truck. I'm liking it. It's coming along. Yeah, I made a lot of progress today, so. Yeah, lots of lots of progress today. Lots and lots and lots and lots of progress the last couple of days. This last week, you know, like I said, took about a week off, so. About a week off. Oh, excuse me. Shout out to Yon. Huh? No, I'm just, I'm just a little tired, but we'll change our sleep schedule a little bit. Hey, what you guys are beasts, man. I do appreciate you guys for sticking around, hanging out for so long and just relaxing and kind of like, you know, watching me build this crazy, crazy, crazy project. Hopefully it's entertaining enough to keep you guys. I know it's not, I know it's really long and drawn out. I get it, but I do appreciate you guys coming in, at least stopping and hitting the like button, coming in, seeing what's going on, just saying, Hey, and if you got to take off or you can't watch I appreciate it. You know, it is a long project and I know it burns a lot of people out. A lot of you guys are just waiting for the finished project. And that's what I'm trying to give you guys at this point. And I know it's, um, Really, 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 really kind of like hitting there, right? Man, we had some dropped frames today. I wonder what that was from. Interesting. Internet was kind of acting a little funky, but hopefully the stream was good. Issues? Dudes, I'll try to find someone here. Great out to see if we can find a uh, out of our player here. Got. Who we got? Share the love. You know, Adoro came in with that nice, nice beefy raid. See if we got. Playing uh, out of war, stuff you know. See if we can find. Who we got? Oh, Schmidt! Yeah, we'll get him up. And that's a name we recognize. Let's go ahead and hit him up with a raid. Other than that, dudes, you guys have been amazing, man. As always, it's always fun to stream for you guys and hang out and just relax and do the progress and stuff like that. But if you're on Twitch, we're going to send you over to uh, to Smitty's World. He's over there playing, rocking it out. We're going to go ahead and hit you guys up with that, uh, that raid here. Uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Again, we'll be back. I'm probably going to be digging tomorrow, more than likely digging. So we got to get some more money acquired. I'm going to let the, 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 the smelter smelt for a little bit here while I'm dinking around. All right. So no need to restream in that. So other than that, dudes, it's been great. It's been fun. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out, dude.